Welcome back, careful and discerning viewers. I'd like to shift from the tales of our heroes to the tales of Caecilius and his top lieutenants. I can't confirm all of this information as nobody can, but I've done my diligence. And though there's many atrocities that they committed, this is the story of how they acquired that incredibly ancient stronghold that we heard rumbling beneath our feet. Every tremor in the ground had whole towns disappear. A thing of absolute fear and intimidation. This is that story. Tight. <laughs> that was a real look. I didn't realize his citadel was under the ground. It is. Yeah. In fact. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Is it similar to the underground thing that Krang had? Uh, yeah, basically. What was that called the something dome? The techno dome. Techno dome. Techno dome. Techno drone, maybe? Techno drone. Techno drone. Techno drone. Yeah. Thank you, Cranio Dad, for oh, that. There's a good chance they might need him, as I'm not afraid to kill a villain. <laughs> villain? Uh, villain. Um, revolutionary. I'm 100. percent I got I got skeletons. You don't you're think you're the baddie? You're just misunderstood. Yeah. No, I think Zella thinks he's a baddie. All of you will know what your mission is that you've been planning. You are to take a stronghold under the ground. Caecilius has sat pensively thinking, he's spoken to all of you in many meetings, that the opposition, as it were, has a flying castle. They have one that teleports through time and space. So it's time to have one of your own that's inaccessible to them. Mm -hmm. It travels underground. Mm -hmm. Right before you march, you're in the typical, one of the many strongholds. You have taken so many over the past months and the past year that you you shift strongholds maybe once a week to different ones so that you're never pinned down. You've been relatively successful in this campaign. There's few battles that you've lost or had to pull back from. You also know that there are consequences to retreat. But you are there, the three of you, with Caecilius, looking over particular plans when another lieutenant that you know comes storming in, in a huff, followed by one of the commanders. It is Neron Vane, who you know served in the Cult of the Dragon, was imprisoned, and the son <clears throat> of King Melandroc. Mm -hmm. It's a bit huffy, as he typically is. And so I could roll his eyes. He comes in with a flourish of his cape, just... <sighs> Lord Commander. Caecilius looks up. He's like, what news from the high forest? He's like, unfortunately not good news, sire. The commander here thought it perfect to rush their fortifications. The commander kind of steps forward. We thought we had the element of surprise. Caecilius gets up. So you didn't take the high forest. What about what I sent you there for? Do you have the head of Esme? Unfortunately, she was able to escape my lord. <laughs> I see. Will the three of you deal with this? You can narratively tell me how you dispose of this commander amongst th the three. I of think you. I would just kind of walk up casually, put my hand on his shoulder, and just say, Sometimes it's better to die than to fail. And I'll hit him with a contagion. Just. Where after like three rounds, he'll just start bleeding. You can see that happening. And I just walk away. He's definitely not quite dead yet. <laughs> I'll wait for him to die. Like watching, <laughs> but I'm watching diligently, like analyzing. Yeah, <laughs> studying the death. Just anything from you. Just kind of 
uninterested in the theatrics of it and just just kind of turns away and kind of doesn't doesn't care just a lot. Watch just like you could have just killed him. And look as he just starts. <laughs> You catch eyes with Neron Van, who's almost like this is an erotic show for him, <laughs> just like. <laughs> I'm creeped out. I, I'll, 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 I'll actually, just, if I catch him, I'll stop and walk over to him. He's, what's his rank in the army? So, uh, Zelok is pretty much the main kind of right hand of Kaecilius. None of you are really issuing orders to each other, but you kind of consult Kaecilius the most, as much of this has been kind of magic related. You're also a strategist. You have also have key ways of like looking at fortifications on like, no, this would be a weak point, and you. So, Neron Vane uh, is very successful. I mean, your peers, but you all probably have a bit more sway, like you serve more of a purpose. He, I mean, he's cruel and sadistic, which serves its purpose right. quite well. Like he has absolutely no morals or code at all. Uh, once the commander's dead, while maintaining eye contact with Naren Fane, he'll cast a spell and make that body rise in service to him. There's no point wasting a good body. It does not matter. The soul is gone. No has consumed it. The commander rises still with blood and pustules and just where the skin has broken open. A husk of what it was and looks at you, Zelak, and walks behind you and stands still with the rest of the blood pouring out and dripping onto the floor next to you. But you get back to planning. Kaecilia seems completely oblivious to what's happening. All right. Here we are on the precipice of getting what we want. This will be the key. As you know, our biggest weakness is moving this many troops over open ground. But the world is thin between everything. We've been opening holes here and there. And thanks to all of your attacks, sacking many of the churches of Analor. Right. The people are swaying. They're afraid. They no longer believe what they used to about our enemies. This is an ancient temple, almost a city that moves underground. And it is the only true temple of Bahamut. Yes, he pretends to not have vanity or have his likeness and idols around. Couldn't be further from the truth. There are aspects of his guardians that I want you to take out while we move in the rest of the Amber and complete the ritual. We're going to trap Bahamut and we're going to siphon his power. We most certainly can't kill him and we don't want to. Why not? Because he's as weak as Tiamat is. That level of celestial energy can go to power our stronghold. It will be painful, and it will power the Ember Gods and prepare for later rituals that we have. I would rather see him alive and suffering so that every moment he can know how he slighted me. A fitting punishment, my liege. Thank you, Zalak. Cannot say exactly what these champions will be, but luckily, Lorik, you seem to have studied the plans in the ancient text, and you know how to get in. I do. You go through each chamber, be systematic. There is no mercy, there is no room for failure. We understand, Lord. Good. 
push us out of chair. Then let's march. The armies gather. It is a sizable force. You've already kind of moved close to the location. Many of your kind of lesser mages have been opening up tunnels that lead to ancient tunnels and stairways. There's plenty of orcs and goblins that of course are typically your front lines that are just skittering down, crawling across the walls, just pouring through. And you come out and it's a massive cavern. There seems to be light coming from the top, but you've been over this terrain and you're not exactly sure where that light could be coming from. But you see what looks like an, it's a strange architecture. It looks unlike anything you've ever seen. It's very clearly ancient and does, there's so many towers connecting to other ones, but so much of it is metal, brass, platinum, gold, some stonework of course as well. You see domes and spires that go up and you see what, there looks almost like there's a crack in the ground, almost like it would be a moat, and you see, it almost look like blades, circular almost dome blades that look like they're stuck, and you see giant gears and wheels all over the place. And you, in this cavern, you watch, by the time you've entered, forces are just pouring into this place. It certainly has defenders. Oh, it does, that was my next It does. Okay. Most of them are dragonborn uh -huh. um, and metallic dragonborn mm -hmm. at that. There's a, there's a couple humans and elves, of course. There's certainly looks like worshippers. I mean... So this was actually this is actually an intact city that people are living underground? Pretty much, is yeah. It, underground? it is underground. It is underground. It's in an underground cavern. Okay, okay. So um, it doesn't look... As you look over it, you've already seen it kind of trampled. It looks like they have their own kind of agriculture down here. Uh -huh. So, uh, in fact, it is very similar to the Underdark, where you're from. I mean, you have an entire civilization underground, with the exception that there's not as much bioluminescent oozes and things in the shadow. It looks, for a surface dweller, dweller like <clears throat> almost idyllic, with the exception that it's in a cavern. Um, but yeah, it does look like it's in use. But most of your forces, and you, the undead that you command are certainly, they're falling quickly, but it's just a sheer numbers game that is overwhelming them. Kaecilius walks up and you, before he parts, you see them hauling giant wagons with sarcophagi of amber up and a number of equipment, metal. Tight. And they're hauling it up and it's like, you know where to go. Of course. Go through each chamber, take them out. We won't fail you. Be sure that you don't. I'm gonna have a big billowy cape as well. <laughs> you can all have billowy capes if I you want. I want one. <laughs> you, you know exactly where to go. It almost is a bit around the side. It looks like they're kind of consecutive domes that seem to be going around the, um, the kind of main city structure that it is um, that are connected. Would it be reasonable that we might have some like basic plus one gear? Yeah, I think so. I think you guys uh, consider that you each have, I mean, plus one to your armor class, I think, between arcane robes and cool. uh, and armor and whatnot. And for you, let's just say you have bracers okay. that, that give you kind of plus one. Sweet. I will never die. And actually, you can give yourself a plus two to your attack as a bonus from your bracers. I know that's last minute, but... Sweet. So he's kind of gone off. He's he's gone off, and I mean, you essentially you know the plan that there's kind of the main sanctum, and <clears throat> uh, all of you know that some of this is an adaptation from the ritual from the cult of the dragon. As a, it's essentially going to siphon the aspect in, but due to modifications, it's going to trap it and limit some of the power Bahama. of Bahamut. So, Bahamut. 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 
Bahamut. Bahamut. Bahamas, man. Who let the dogs out? Baja boys wanted to know the Baja mutt where it is. That was a real stretch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I appreciate it. And I mean, those of you in knowledge know that Bahamut has aspect guardians that right. are typically in the form of gold dragons. But you're approaching the first dome. Large, <clears throat> again, metal doors. Where, and as you look, you're like, oh, okay, so it's folded gold, silver, platinum, brass in these intricate designs awesome. as they kind of uh, go Before we up. get there, I start casting spells on myself. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, uh, False Life and Death Ward on myself. Tight. I'll have mage armor. Um, what's the light like here, Tim? Uh, it is not uh, around the city. Basically, as you look up, it almost looks like a sunny sky that you're looking up into the clouds. Like part of it, you see crystal, but it almost looks like there's clouds in the cave. So essentially directly down on the city, it looks like a sunny day here. Definitely doesn't look necessarily, you're not sure what's inside. There's definitely a shadowy... I don't know, alleys, if you will, or, you know, under the shade of buildings. Let me let the boys go ahead. I will send my army of uh, seven skeletons forward. And one zombie. And one zombie. Oh, I didn't get my zombies. I'm going to grab that because I do have to have the difference between them. Yeah. Keep, As they kind rocking. of head forward at a slow walk at first, and then you see, again, Dragonborn coming out, and they have these impressive, ornate armor with these spears. Some of them look like they're almost uh, spell casting focuses as well that are shooting fire bolts out of them. And the zombies come on. One starts to fall. You immediately kind of bring it back to life as it as they just start kind of tearing into the small phalanx that has been moving forward, trying to keep you out. They easily just continue to just kind of tear through. A couple spells, cantrips even from you are just picking ones off. Cool. Yeah, I'll do. I'll be tolling the dead. They hear the, the bells and you see them kind of fall. And off some of the domes and the roofs, there were archers that you all, you manage to run directly up. As they're, they're on bridges ahead of you and you just look up and, I mean, they're falling. You hear their screams, you hear their laments for fallen friends. They're resolute, but many of them know they're already defeated. Fools. As you get to the dome, the doors look open, but you hear a sound at the front. Almost sounds like Gears itself. And before you, an iron golem Sweet. <laughs> is just moved like from the door and there's also it almost looks like a dragonborn there's aspects where it has kind of a snout cool. and the finned ears and you can see that though it's mostly um, iron it is kind of ornately decorated so we're actually yeah, probably should have drawn another map but let's uh, you, want to put him over? you know what I'll, I'll put them right here consider that you're outside of the dome okay. and you guys you guys can be yeah right here I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative, please. Just one initiative? Just one initiative. You, you, you probably have a good initiative. It's just five, plus five. Yeah, what well, better mine. Okay. Oh, well, it's definitely at the end. 16 for me. 16 for you. What about you, Blackfist? I got a 14. 14. What about you, Zelloc? It'll be a 21. Ooh. Okay. Uh, even with even with my non-Killian. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> All right. Zelloc, it is... So you much. first, Zelosh, <laughs> as your One, as your undead entourage is around you and 
drawing kind of swords, you can see their claws, and you see a large sword that's on the back Tight. of this as it had stepped forward, it went and started dragging against the stone steps. All right. Uh, it's a bonus action to mentally command creatures I've made. So as a bonus action, he'll put a, a curled finger forward and march. So I'll have them act at the beginning of my turn, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes right? total Normally, sense you know, to me. we decide ahead of time, but they're going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. They're just charging this dude. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's what they're made to do. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever. I'm just going to pile them up behind yeah, that. Do it. Can the zombies dash? Each one. The zombies, I don't know if they can dash, but their speed is definitely slower. Uh, can a zombie dash? Yeah, they can dash, okay. but he's only speed 20. Right. I'll have them in 20, 30, 40. Uh, that's our former comrade. Uh, and then with my action, I will... Um... I will send an icy skeletal hand <laughs> bursting forth with like a cloud of ice behind it and cast Chill Touch on this dude. Okay. Oh, you can only target one with Chill Touch? What? Yeah, that's cool. No, no, that's, I can do oh, it too. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a 22. Got a 22. I'll be curious if you don't affect him. I, yeah. I just can't remember what goblins. Yep. Yeah, it is yeah. necrotic. You got it. It's necrotic? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, you got it. That was cool. No. Okay, that'll be a 13 damage. Are we adding, we're not adding the thing to damage, right? Just the hit and save? Hits and saves. Yeah, okay. hits and saves. 13 damage. 13 damage. I'm going to mark this here. I forgot to get a paper, so. And with my turn over, I will proceed to battle cam operate. Sean got the Oscar for battle cam operation for the uh, Waddity Dragon Heights I felt pretty finale. fucking good, y'all. I don't know if you guys saw it, but he, it looked awesome. Yeah. Andrew All right, you, I saw. Yeah, it was cool. Within it, job. you touch whatever semblance of a life force is still moving it, and you can feel as you kind of push past the metal, you almost warg into the hand as you can feel it going through gears. Tight. You can see the fire across it as you start to pull out whatever this life force is. Awesome. All right, Relleric. I will uh, pretty easily uh, make it there with your with your No, quick actually, step. I can't make it there. Yeah, you can. You can spend a key point if you can, if you want. Right. I, that, that was well, actually, before you do that. Yeah. I, I actually was that. I wanted to play Shadow because I looked into it a lot. Yeah. What's the lighting condition right. here? So here, right here, it still looks like a sunny day. Um, I would give you. I would give you in the archway right here where he is right now. Mm -hmm. It is dim just due to the kind of overhang of the archway. The door is back here. So I would give you dim right here. But I think you have to start in it. Right. To yeah, you do. do. Uh, but you said there's something where I can spend a key point to move farther? To uh, yeah. Side? Yeah. You can do... Uh, Maybe I didn't. It's not patient defense. Step of the wind, I think. Take the disengager dash action as, as a, a bonus mm -hmm. action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can just that. right up on top of them. Yep. And then I. Uh, but that is a bonus action. So yeah. I guess I'll. Yeah, I'll attack. Obviously. Please. Oh, All right. Wow, right, right off the bat. This All guy. right. So when do I decide if I spend the After stunning you. when you hit creature with a melee yeah. attack? Okay. So that's 2d8 plus 5. Sorry, I gotta get my... That'll be 13, and I'll spend a key point to uh, Stunning Strike, so he needs a con save of 17, which I'm sure he's got good Unless he's immune to stun. Some creatures are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool, awesome. Uh, they, they took a lot of that out in 5th edition, where before there was a lot of stuff he just couldn't okay, affect. That's we consider that a magical effect or no? No. For Monk, yeah. Not. Tight. Actually, it failed. Sweet. Stun, Stun town population. You. Until the end of my next turn. Mm -hmm. So you run just. <laughs> arms back. How was that? <laughs> you quickly, I mean, with the amount of wisdom that you have and perception, you 
kind of are adding up where the joints connect, almost the, the, uh, the actuators of how yeah. things connect, and you manage to kind of slide in right at the knees and just, and you you can feel that you kind of move the gears for a moment, and you can hear them grinding, trying to move back naturally, but it's just. Nice. <laughs> And anything else, my dude? That's it. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you, Cranio Dad, for three. Wow. Uh, the Thank you, the man. people are rooting for the villains today. Oh, what? They're pretty stoked that y'all are the baddies. Nice. <laughs> Uh, are, are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that my cloak has skulls on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Black Fist, it is your go as you can hear the gears just. <laughs> All right, um, so I'll move up. So he's stunned? Yeah. Is stun is paralyzed? Uh, does stun mean that you're paralyzed? I think it might, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're paralyzed. Oh, then he... Well, it, no, no, you're not paralyzed, you're restrained, I think. I, I think, I think so. Oh, is paralyzed. is incapacitated. Incapac See the condition. Incapacitated, Can't okay. move, can't speak. Well, incapacitated is still auto crits. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. it, it's, it's definitely auto crits. Hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. What about him? All right, I'll go to there. Uh, as a bonus action, uh, he's going to summon this... Uh, basically, like a, a skeletal dragon head. Uh huh. It's my spiritual weapon. Fuck yeah. Uh, nice. and, uh, I'm gonna cast it at third level. Gotcha. And attack him as a, as a bonus action, That's and then I'm way. going to cast um, Chill Touch on him also. So. One chilly boy touch? Yep. I'm gonna do uh Cool. Do my D12 here. All right, I'm gonna try to keep earning my key. This 27 the, uh, to hit. Key grip. Oh, let me check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Uh, for uh, 10 damage, and then she'll touch. That's an attack, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 25 to hit. Yep, you got it. And that's another nine. Okay. Uh, you feel as it still gears are going, a spectral skeletal dragon head clearly bites into the shoulder, nice. even though it's slipping through and there's easily, you see it pulling out flames from the inside, just nice. whoo, and smoke's going. And then you feel essentially the same that Zeloc did as you can feel the fire that's burning inside of it and you sense life and you start pulling it out. Nice. Is it oh. dead? Nope, it is, uh, it doesn't get a go because oh. <laughs> it is stunned. You stupid, I only attacked once and could have attacked twice before. Yeah. It is in uh, fact your go, my all dude. Right. He'll just again, like, destroy him. And I got a lot of skelly attacks coming right mm -hmm. now, my dude. So they're attacking with advantage. So what I'm gonna do is roll one big oh. fistful. Was that auto crit on my stuff? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, to roll the hit. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? So roll what? Four more d ten. Four more d eights. D eights. Yep. Make it ten. Uh, so twenty three more. Got it. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna start rolling skellies to see how many hit. Uh, and they do add my proficiency bonus. What's our proficiency bonus five. at 15? Five. So it's their normal attack so plus three. five. So they're plus nine each. Oh, so Skelly four. one, uh, 18? No. Oh. <laughs> no. That one doesn't either. Skelly number three, I assume a... Uh, yeah, 26. Okay. What did I say they are? A nine? Okay. That's nine. So that's one. I'm on Skelly four. Yep. Yep. Skelly five. No. Nope. Skelly six. No. Nope. No. Skelly seven. I like that just bing, bing, bing. bing. Uh, so that's only two, two skelly hits. Two hits. Wow, nice. Nice Great job, guys. I'm going to kill them all. <laughs> One is the commander that you raised who was a capable warrior in his game. Just <laughs> so he'll take, uh, oh, but they're crits. crits. Yeah. So that's six and three oh. damage. Great job, guys. Uh, what was the total? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Nine? Nine, yeah. I already forgot. 
Okay. Are your skelly attacks magical? Or are they just normal? No, they're not magical. They're just normal. All right. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think anything makes it magical. I don't know if it had resistance. Yeah. I was thinking that, so it... It'd be three and two, because I, I, I did a six Actually, and then a three. Let me yeah. look real quick. You don't have to worry about that. Because everything I do is magical, yeah. Uh, just like actually, right I think that's correct. It's not. I'm sure, it's on here somewhere, but I remember yeah. reading it. Anybody have adamantine weapons? Uh, certainly not my skeletons. Yeah, my really? fists. My fists are. Why wouldn't you get the adamantine? Did he weapons? take nothing? Does he take nothing or half? Uh, he takes nothing. All right, I think uh, yeah. Zelak is a bad guy, so I'm going to play him much less. I think he's pissed about that. Like, ah! he's going to cast disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> right, right out of the gate. Yeah, I man. A, I get a spell back. So, uh, I believe you ought to fail. Do I? What kind of? Deck save. Oh, uh, yeah. I you auto fail, my I, dude. I uh, do, yeah. Let me, let me just look real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it auto fails. Yep. This is necrotic damage? Uh, nope. It's four, this think. is, uh, yep, it's four. Yeah, of course. Oh. Good old seer. It surrounds us and binds us. Okay, let's see. That's 12, 20, 35, plus 40. That's 75 damage. 75 damage? <laughs> 75 force damage, sir. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Uh, I think he does that out of anger. <laughs> What does it look like for you, man? What does this disintegrate oh, look dude, like? Oh, dude, I think it's just a, it's like black and green energies flying out of his hand. I think his eyes are kind of glowing a bright green, and his tattoos are growing. He's a former red wizard, of course. Had to make the mirror image. I mean, yeah, we're fine with that. Yeah. You see, I mean, you are the closest, and you start to see, I mean, it's metal that is kind of melting, and also, I mean, it truly is it's just thing? disintegrating. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's essentially, you know, the, the snap has happened, <laughs> and it starts to go, and you can see the gears on the inside just, and the fire going as it just... <gasps> yeah, I actually have a, have a question. Sure, man. Uh, it says, this spell automatically disintegrates a large or smaller non-magical object or a creation of magical force. It's not magical force. Right? They're talking like wall of force. Oh, gotcha. So so he's certainly a, not a non-magical object. All right, got it. Yeah. Cool. I'll take this to 75. Yeah. <laughs> Can it be destroyed, man? Throw me up. All right. Uh... Open is uh, oh, Loric. <laughs> okay, this time I'm going to remember to attack twice. Um, so he's still stunned, so yeah. advantage. Mm-hmm. And you're auto critting him. Uh, 20. You got it exactly. <laughs> so that'll be 10. Is that auto crit? Oh, yeah, you just do. You do two with it, you do base D8, right? Yeah, base D8 okay, plus gotcha. five, yeah. Okay, go ahead on the second one. Uh, yeah, for sure. For wait, was I doing that wrong? Sixteen. Sixteen plus five damage. Yeah, I'm just not sure if I did that for the first one. So, uh, probably not. So sixteen plus five. So that was no. I at least did plus three. I just might have the, just let it ride. Okay, All right. well, gotcha. Not confident enough. All right. Anything else, my dude? Um, I don't think so. You get flurry of blows if he spends a key. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I guess while he's, he's stunned. Yeah, while he's stunned, I will spend it. All right. So, spending the key. All right. For fifteen. And strike number two. Death by a thousand blows. Got him. For sixteen. So. Yeah, over 60 damage. I'll take it. (laughs) Not bad. I mean, you are a well-oiled team. I wouldn't quite say you're all friends, but you all know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So as it starts to disintegrate, you're just pulling out gears. You're, I mean, ripping pieces out from it. Just nice. At the end of your turn, though, the gears... Kind of reset, just yeah. 
<laughs> Try death by disassembly. All right, black fist. Uh, just give me up thirty. I got you. Yeah, right. Them, yeah, I'm gonna start killing your skeletons to get to them. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna tell them to pull back. So I will uh, first my bonus action. I'll have the he's not stunned anymore, so I'll have the. Uh, all right. Uh, spiritual weapon? Yep. Got it. Uh, yeah, that's a 20. Yo, yeah. Eight. You got it. Yeah. Um, nine damage. And then, uh, does he look damaged? Oh, dude, yes. I mean, it looks like it's trying to hold it together. You guys are, I mean, it has been disintegrated halfway. I mean, gears and joints are just being ripped out. And now the zombies are kind of taking their chance to just start. Okay. Throwing and for in my blows. attack, I'm going to attack the skeleton in front of me. Okay. I'm yeah. Sure I'm pretty is. sure you got it. Oh man. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, well, he might be alive. Uh, 19 damage? Yeah, he's still alive. Attack him. I can't attack him again. <laughs> still you, alive. You keep them out of my way. You Ew. start oh, hacking friend. away and it... <laughs> <laughs> and kind of just keeps moving. Oh, well, it gets a turn. <laughs> Should it, though? Uh, my skeleton assists him against... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I use the help action. <laughs> this guy was always a dick. <laughs> You are the one closest <laughs> to it. There's plenty more out there. Okay. Yeah. It is. Oh shit. Skellington. Skellington. Six foot tall is a fucking tall. <laughs> it <laughs> raises a giant sword, almost just. There's a moment's pause as it starts pulling it down. What's your armor class, my dude? 20. Yeah, well, yeah, gotcha. I forgot, I have savage attacks. If I crit, I add another die. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. Or a half orc. Yeah. What was your die? It was D8. He, probably, he would still be alive. They get all kinds of bonuses. Oh, no, no, I didn't crit him, but I crit oh, oh, a big right, guy. Right, I would have right, gotten right, extra right. damage on him. On weapon damage, though. No, it says damage. Pretty sure I'll I don't think it accounts, it accounts for spell damage. In fact, I think it might only be melee damage. You take 24 slashing 24 damage. critical hit. As it, it raises that. again to hit you. Well, one of the dice an additional time to add the extra damage. Miss you, so. actually, that time. I mean, he can always say So, that. one slashes down, and you're Look it kind of yeah. backing up as it's coming down. It still manages to cut across your front, but you... The next time it swings down, it's just slow. It's just slower than, and you're able to kind of dodge out of the way. How much did you take? 24. It is your zombies turn. Well, my zombies are going to, uh, I'll be like, assist! Uh, as a bonus action. You're assisting the me. <laughs> as a bonus action, this one will give, uh, Caloric. Caloric uh, help action. <laughs> this one will disengage and like bow its head to him as it pulls back. All right. Uh, this one will assist me, given the help action. Gotcha. Uh, the rest of them, I think, are going to disengage and just step away a little bit. No sense wasting good bodies. So I think that's that. Uh, then I will, I'm going to just hit him with another chili touch. Okay. Just one chili touch with advantage. Uh, that'd be a 22. That hits. And that would be 12 damage, sir. The flames, I kind of keep it burning, give it its life force. You can feel them. I mean, they're just starting to smolder, and you're sucking the oxygen right out of them, just Sweet. cupping it and pulling it out. Anything else, my dude? That's it for me, my man. Okay. Rollerick. I will attack. Okay. Yes. For 11. 
Yeah, you're getting the short version. It. Oh, is it? It is. You can see it barely standing as you oh, that's weird that they realize that you've the reached shorthand descriptions. what could be called the heart Excellent. of yep. it, and you can feel the flames coming out, and your hands are just in there, just ripping pieces out. You know that one more hit, it should essentially be gone. Well, I'll attempt to do that right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. But you have your bonus action. You, you, you can worry. You, you can always do the one. You always. Well, that's do the true. One. I forgot. As a bonus action, you can just. Also, did you roll that with advantage? Because I gave you the help action. Your I mean, first one would have been advantage. Yeah. Oh. That, oh. Right. You get two yeah. base attacks. Yeah. He's right. Though. And you, you always get the bonus action. You always action. get the bonus. You always, you always have a three. So yeah, you always have oh, three always attacks three essentially, okay. unless you do something else on your bonus action. That that won't do it though. I'm afraid. You you found it and you're trying to pull, but I mean you just can't quite rip it out. Black fist. Oh. All yours. <laughs> so I loosened it up for you. He'll step up. 3D. Was he assisting me, or were you? Uh, I, I meant me? to leave one assisting you. No, no, don't worry. I don't think I, I would. Assume, I, would, I would assume you probably wouldn't. Have yeah, yeah. He'd have been like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, get out of the way, but also fuck you. By all means. Uh, that's a twenty-two. That hits. Uh, and I'm just roll for my blade. Yeah, both of them hit. You don't have to roll unless okay. you want to, my dude. Okay, that's fine. You're, you rather quickly are like, see his blade coming and you're like, whoop, and pull your hands out as you, you have a sword? Oh, I actually have a battle axe. Battle axe, as your axe just rents the, the gears, hits and cracks open the core of this heart, and as it happens, as it's exposed, a spectral dragon head closes nice. behind it and the fire goes out. He, he doesn't. He just kicks it backwards. As it. And. And there it is. Inert. Cooling by the moment. I looked nice. Ralic. Ral, Ralark. Adequate. Useless machine. And just walk away annoyed at its existence. <laughs> Systematically, <laughs> your undead file around you. Yep. Just I'll have them walk like in rank and file around me, shouldering me like stiff arm yeah. me. <laughs> you have them. They even have a bit of ceremony to the to the step of like a march. Is like all in sync, just nice. Love it. The doors, large doors, maybe eighty feet high. Holy shit. So they were made of like different metals interleaved yeah, together. Pretty precious metals. And they depict, you know, you can see essentially, I think any of you would know, I mean, they look like Mount Celestia or any a number of the heavens. And you can see dragons kind of weaving throughout. But you also see one almost looks like an older dragon in the center with kind of these long, almost antenna, but it makes it look a bit like a mustache mm -hmm. of somebody older. And it's just with hands extended. Cool. You guys go in the door? What do you do? Open it. Make my make my skeleton army walk forward and four will push on each side. Okay. Um so is there there was dim light it's dimmer here? Yes. I I would become invisible, I suppose. Okay. You kind of look at the archway. And once it was like pretty much direct sunlight, so at this point too, you can kind of uncover your eyes as you can see better now. But you whoosh, slip in just in one of the corners. Only a brief outline can any of you see just because you know where to look. Nay. What's before you is pretty magnificent. So, there is a huge dome. I actually forget how far across that was. It's like 80 to 100 feet to the back. But it goes up, and you see almost like a beautiful, again, it's, uh, I mean, it's almost a portrait, like Sistine Chapel, but again, it's all metal. So, and you see dragons curling around there. 
there's clearly like just tiled and gears that are all turning underneath these tiles. You can kind of look down. It looks like one of the skeleton clocks you'd look at as you can kind of see different layers of gears. Awesome. And there are two on the sides. There are two what look like wheels for the most part. But they also have hollowed out bits where it looks like there's energy of some sort in there, but faint, almost like a fading candle. Mm. Very cool. Uh, nothing else in here of note besides the... Actually, there is. <laughs> Standing in the center are two individuals. They look humanoid, but they clearly have... It looks like... Well, well, really look like twins. There's a kind of a male and a female, mm. both with long hair, golden hair, golden aspects of skin, standing, looking at you. They look like Azimars? Knowledge Arcana? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and make Knowledge Arcana if you All want right, to. All right, I will. That's 18. 21. You get there, and you're shortly thereafter. You're like, oh, no, not Asimars. You're like, these are human form of gold dragons. Oh, then there's two of them? Yes. Tight. Mm. Uh, I think Zellock would say something. Say, Long have I wished for an undead dragon to be in my cadre. What an awful thing to wish for. Mm. We wish that you would turn back, abandon this, or be destroyed. No one will judge you when you go before him. He will not judge you kindly. You will be thrown down with your master into the depths. That, I promise. They, again, at the same time, look at each other and immediately... <laughs> In this is fine. seconds. Just, they're just two. This is gold fine. Dragons. Turn into two merely dragons. two gold dragons. It is two gold dragons. Is that all you got, Sean? So <laughs> well, tonight we have both dungeons and dragons. <laughs> uh oh. Sean's like, well, Elbin and company are unkillable, but I can kill these guys. <laughs> I ain't feel bad. You want us to set up there? Or yeah, here? yeah. Essentially, you guys just have just around. come in the. <clears throat> Come in the door here, and you're. Uh, we just came in, right? Just came in. So, see, I have maybe like f how much? How many rounds left of my spiritual weapon? Last for a minute or ten minutes. Minute. It's probably gone. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's exchange. gone. Fair sure enough. Fair enough. But I'm going to need initiative. <laughs> God damn it! Eleven. Okay, well, hold on. Let me, uh, 18. Let me just pull up, you know. I just want to beat you. <laughs> Never. I thought about taking more things that gave me more initiative <laughs> just to annoy you guys. <laughs> that would really annoyed me. <laughs> okay. They are acting together. <clears throat> uh, you were 11. Mm -hmm. What about you, Blackfist? A three. Okay, what about you, Zella? 18. Okay, they go first. Cool. Seems reasonable. At least we're not bunched up or anything. I like it because it gives me time to figure out what spells I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, we're not bunched up. I disbelieve whatever they do. <laughs> Which believe? That believe. Okay. This one. I mean, half kind of runs and half flies, like uses its wings Sight. to propel, just and <gasps> and sneezes. <laughs> oh, I thought he had a cold. This is not fire, though it is hot. It seems more like a wind and more, there's almost like glitter and sparkles to it. Mm, isn't that nice? Will everybody please make me a DC 17 strength saving throw? Strength? Oh, oh yeah. God. Wait, so that means my thing doesn't work? <laughs> my evasion doesn't work since it's not a deck save? Nope. Correct. Afraid not. Oh, I'm going to use one of these too. Strength save on a wizard? Oh, All right. Roll a five and a two. This is going to be bad. Hey, I got a 19. Got a 19. You made it. Yes. Oh. Nope, nope. Okay. 
So thanks, anyways, Cranio Dad. Yeah, thanks, Cranio Dad. You helped me, <laughs> and that's all that matters. So you'll be able to repeat this on the end of each one of your turns. But for the next minute, you have disadvantage on strength-based attacks and strength checks as you start to feel weak, mm. like your muscles won't almost won't listen anymore. As you're like, <gasps> as you breathe in, you. Hmm have experienced things like this in the Underdark before, and you're able to quickly, with part of your cloak even, just kind of wrap up, and you hold your breath knowing that you can, and you just continue to exhale. Nice. And this one. <gasps> Fire comes hurling out. Everybody, please make me DC 17 dexterity saving throws. Yikes! <laughs> oh, the nat 20! 20. Nice. 24. So you take no damage. Oh, well, I got that, a 20. You all pass. Not nat. Thank you, Cranio Dad. I stole that last one. I saw you eyeing it, Andrew. Oh, no, I was eyeing it. Yeah. I, I looked I at it, too, but I'm like, I'm not going to heal you anyway. Yeah, I can so. spend yeah. a key to reroll it. So. Makes sense. Good, yeah. All right. <laughs> Nine. I actually just need uh, one of your D10s in here, please. Have that. Bring my shield up to try just, to shoot. Uh, oh, I didn't roll for my skellies. Does it hit all of them? Uh, yeah. Why don't you roll damage first and see if half will even save them? Then I'll roll for them all. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, those are all D10s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can do damage. <laughs> I'm a monk. 42 damage, but you will have that. 42 too. natural. Okay, so I do need yeah. to roll for my boys. What's 42 minus 42? Shut up. Hold on, man. Let me check. All right. Uh, so I'm rolling for the guys right here. Actually, I got a separate one on the zombie. It's worse. Zombie. Hey, Fail. thanks, Curious Craft. We appreciate that raid. Uh, we've got a party full of evil lieutenants fighting gold dragons, We're not in fact. Evil? Uh, in their attempt, I'm evil. Oh, I'm evil. In their attempt to kidnap and trap Behemoth to Good. an eternity of suffering. Bahama. Bahama. Okay, hey, I had the back two skellies survived. <laughs> That's really hurt. I'll go ahead and, with a raid with that, I'll give you guys an extra oh, one here. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at this guy. I don't like that. <laughs> and with that, their turn is done. That's Actually, it. they they move back a little bit Dicks. with their remaining movement. I don't like them. I don't like them either. And again, one may have moved first, but the other one was right behind, and. But then when they move back, again, it's almost in unison as they crawl back at the same rate. Cool. Like cats. All right. Yeah. And with your evasion, you looked at the archway that you saw, and you added up, and you saw the fire come, and you just kind of spun into the corner and managed to press up against it, so it just... Nice. Okay. Uh, Zelok, it is you. Alrighty. I am going to cast uh, Crown of Stars. So I think he'll sort of push back against the back, put his hands together, and like and seven black glowing stars will appear around his head, okay. not unlike a halo, and he will fire off one of them. It'll go streaking out towards this one. Tight. That would be a 28. Yep, you got it. Uh, they're 4d12. Oh, shit, I need to get paper and a pencil. What's the lighting in here? Uh, it is dim in here. There you go. That's 30 damage, my dude. Oh, you. And that was on oh, that one? This one. All right, it backs up in you and shoot one and it hits and you can see the ink of it almost starting to pull as it just ah! Tight, that's me. Okay. Roderick. 
Uh, You're within range. Okay. Easily. Thanks. You just teleport 60 feet. Just. Well, I was going to do it after I attack. Because I'm invisible now. You, you lose invisibility as soon as you attack. Right. Oh, you're just going to teleport away? Attack and teleport away to yeah, become yeah, invisible again? Oh, Makes I sense, see. dude. I see. Yeah, yeah. So, so you just... I, yeah. Yeah. I forgot you were invisible. Sticking to the shadows. So the first one's advantaged. Right. That definitely won't do it, I'm afraid. No, I'm sure. Uh, and actually... No, you're good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, how's a 21? Yeah, that hits. The first one, you weren't quite sure. It doesn't look like it can see, but it's almost tracking. As you're moving, you can see almost its pupil trying to track, and it almost seemed like it had you, but... It was able to move just a little bit with the first one, but you fade again and you're quick. Go right ahead, though. Nice. Uh, nine. No. And then I will try to stun him. Okay. That's my boy. Seventeen cons. Seventeen con save. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, you hit golden scales, and you can even see your palm print kind of in it, and it folds in like metal, but... You can feel the reverberations, but it just almost shifts. Like, it moves with your blow. Like, and good for him. I will spend a key to attack two more times. Nice. Mm -hmm. I can box. Uh, yeah. Yep. 29. For uh, eight, and I will spend a key to try and stun him again. <laughs> spend him up. Tight. Uh, that is the same. Oh my god. Try one more time. Nope. Nope. You are trying to find purchase, and again, it's almost moving the way the scales look almost like you're running your hand under sheets. You know, but they're just... Like, cool. Well, that's not a good spot to be in. Oh, well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, you're good. Oh, I used my bonus action, didn't I? Is it a bonus action to do the thing? To do, yeah. Teleport. Uh, spend one key to make, yeah, to teleport, yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I, didn't yeah. know, I didn't realize it. I thought it was a move. No. Uh, okay, Black Fist. All right. Um, I'll point my hands at that one. Got it. Uh, and a, like, above it, kind of like almost like a mirror image of it, but skeletal dragon kind of sweeps down and kind of folds its wings around it. Tries to. Hell yeah. Uh, a charisma Great. save. Charisma that. save. Oh, well. That was awesome, man. Bad Bad ass. Spell, apparently. Evidently. I mean, it's just, it's banishment. Oh, hell yeah. Damn it. Oh my god. Doing your rolls. The saves are on fire. I'm afraid it tr and tries. Should I should have Yeah, I was going to say that's I, worth I, it. I didn't see it there. And it tries to start pulling, and you almost see it blink out, but instead it kind of claws into the ground and lays low and pushes it off with wings that just. Nice. Uh, let's see. Can we be like 20 feet this way, or past him? Like 30 total, towards that wall. Sure. Not a line towards him, though. Kind of like, yeah, maybe I've got you a little bit. Okay. It is there. Go. So, first things first. This one over here. Yep. Regenerate. This one over here. Yes. God damn you. <laughs> they, and you see them, you can see that their stomachs kind of bulge and just. <sighs> And it almost travel up their throat and stay. I disbelieve. Let me see how. Let's see a thirty foot cone. I'm trying to make it hard on him. What do you want though? A thirty foot cone, right? Yep, that thirty foot cone. Right there. Yeah, I figured I wish to say that. Yeah, yeah, you guys. I need both of you to make dexterity saving throws, please. Nope. I'll spend a... Wait, what is my dex save? That has a 19. Yeah, you passed. That's right, you can spend it to reroll mm -hmm. time and soul. That's awesome. 
you have a better look of it, though you see it first as the mouth opens up and just a tunnel of fire that's coming up, but you see the, for a moment, Reloric is silhouetted with flames coming out. Seven damage, please. That is fire. I love not having to take that. I love it. It's so nice. You should try it. I'd like to try it. It's not working. Uh, this one, actually. Punishment for not taking damage. Yeah, go ahead and goad me as a DM right now. <laughs> Man, I was I have to take none of that damage. I was Jeff. Yeah. You see, as you manage to kind of shake off the fire, just <laughs> What's your armor class? 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take 20 damage. <laughs> a claw comes up. Again, 20. 20. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take 19 damage. Oh. On a third. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, the bite! No. Oh, God. No, no, that was, that's another claw. Okay. 40, oh. 42. Take 25 damage as he's shaking it off. Just one bite kind of lets you go. Claws, claws, you go down to a knee for a moment, but quickly stand back up. That's them. You're fine. <laughs> Zella. Who's gonna have to take that? All right. I've got six <laughs> little stars yeah. still orbiting me. I'll sling another one at the same one I hit before. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna. No, nah, I'll save that for you guys. Might be a save coming up or something. So just slinging one at him. Actually, I did say my constructs are gonna go first. I would instruct. I would just. Well, it takes a bonus action to order them, so never mind. I'm not. All right. Sticking with the original plan. Yeah, that's a yeah, 24. For sure. Uh, what was it? 4d12. Would you know what? Uh, Crown of Stars. Oh, that's right. That's a good one. I've never heard of that one. I've never yeah. even looked at it. So level 6 or, or 7 spell right there. So, ugh. Uh, 14 damage. But I still got my action as well, so I will sling that and then, ah, with, uh, Chill Touch. Actually, I'm gonna use... Toll the dead. Yeah, toll. Well, it's a save, though. I know. Wisdom save on a dragon. Let's see. It doesn't have to be the 20. It's probably pretty good save. You tell me. I'm going to go for it. Let's see, let's see what we're looking with here. Ah, failed. Okay. All right. It's another 3d12. That was a d12 love today. Ooh, you mean that's better. That'll be... You mean d10s. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be Same tw thing, right? 23 damage from the uh, Toll the Dead. He called you stupid. Oh. Okay, so and you... And I'm also gonna... Shoot the star, and again, it's almost like just these dark stars are sticking to the scales and working in, and then you put your hands together, and for a moment, the two of you can also seem to hear out of the own dragon's ears, <clears throat> doom, 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 church bells, funeral the bells. Bells toll for he. Very good. That's okay. Me. Robert. Okay, um, I'm gonna swing on the one in front of me. Okay. 17. Not afraid not, my dude. Uh, I'm gonna flurry of blows. Let's do two more. Well, do you get well, hold two, on. You get you two need attacks. Two attacks anyway. normally. For the attack action, you get you two. You just get two attacks. Okay. You can, and a, you can get an extra one with a bonus action, or you can spend a key point right. and just get two more okay. without spending a bonus action. I'm pretty that sure. definitely right. hits. Well, I'm gonna spend it. I know I'm gonna do it anyway, but yeah. 
Uh, and yeah, I'm going to spend a key point. So I am going to spend a key point to stunning strike. So 17 con save. Okay. Yes. I'm going to spend another key point. Do you get them all back on a short rest? Yes. Yeah. 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 Burn them up. Okay. Flurry of blows. So two more attacks. Got it. First one, 19. Yes. And spend a key point to try and stun him. Gotcha. You want to roll that damage? Oh, yeah. I guess so. I guess. I don't really care about that part, but... We'll try it. You should. How's a six? <laughs> okay. Oh! Uh, and you still get one more attack because right. you already spent it. So it so. is, you finally, you start to see almost kind of how these ripples move, almost like liquid, but now you've added it up. So you send one blow as it starts to move, you send another blow, and they kind of hit in the middle, and you can, you can see it just... <laughs> Lock up. And does this next attack have to be on the same one? I guess not, right? No. no. Wow. But you'll auto crit him and yeah. have advantage. I guess I like the idea of trying to stun the other one too. But, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a hey, great man. idea too, man. I like the idea. Yeah. You're a tactician. Yeah. Yep, I like it. That nine. is. For nine. And then I can't save. What am I trying to beat? 17. It made it. For a sure. moment, it doesn't expect it though, and you kind of kick a foot back, and you start to see those same like <laughs> go, but it's still up. I, I hope it doesn't it. try and hurt me. Okay, you're probably fine. Wonderful, uh, Black Fist. You see that the one in front finally is clearly stopped moving. All right, uh, move me up right next to him. Right, right, chill. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, and then I create a shimmering barrier that extends out 10 feet radius from me. Is that a 10? Uh, yeah. That's a tenner. Anti-life shell. So, uh, the barrier prevents affected creatures from passing or or reaching through. Affected creatures can, uh, can cast spells through, so uh, there's, no, there's no save. They just... What do they? What, what can they do or not do? So, basically, uh, it's centered on me. Um... Mm-hmm. Hedging out creatures other than undead or constructs. Uh, does that affect him too? Yeah. Oh, so I guess it does. Pu- it pushes Shit. them all away from you? It would you? push him. Yeah, I won't do I thought it was going to put him in there. I just realized uh, if you pass through. I don't think he's going to do it now, it sounds like. Yeah, I probably won't. If it, wait, let me just read it again. Remaining centered on you and hedging out creatures other than undead and constructs. The burial last of the duration. Yeah, shit, it'll hedge you out too. I mean, it's still a pretty sweet, selfish spell. Yeah, but I, I, I yeah, but that's not going to help him. I mean, I like the fact that he can stun them and put damage on them. So I mean, yeah, you're like, I want to do me. this, but <sighs> all right. So I'll. Oh, God, he's going to hammer you again, though. Uh... All right, I'll just walk up to him. No. And I just heal him. Sick. 70 hit points. 70. Good God. That's pretty good. Is that, the, oh, the spell heal? Heal. Yeah, good. that's so awesome. You start to feel those wounds close. It is not uh, like other healing magic that you've had. That I want to say that of, it hurts. That's exactly it. Like it's yeah. not... Got, where it's it, racking pain. You feel basically things being stitched back up and just kind of pressed out, like muscles being pressed out and mm. almost a zipper of it just... It's like drinking one of those like, oh, potions. I'll, I'll whisper, no, it's not kind. <laughs> I'm going to give this to Andrew for trying to get those stuns up. Yeah. Thanks. I don't do that much damage, so I figure stun in. You, you do actually do a lot of damage if you add all that stuff up. Yeah. Right, yeah, but one more attack versus one attempt at stunning, I guess, seems like... Comes next to its brother, and <laughs> both of you, please make dexterity saving throws. Six. Nineteen. Sixteen. Pass fail. Failed, right? Yes. Yeah. Eight, nine, so it's somewhere between nineteen and sixteen. <laughs> Oh. 
and you passed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was hoping if the anti-life affected you, that you would probably dodge their breath weapons, and then they couldn't touch you. Yeah. Is what I was mm -hmm. thinking. That'd be cool. But I've never read the spell before. Yeah, it's weird seeing all these high-level spells. Like, I read that Crown of Stars, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty tasty. All right, 57 damage, and then I guess you take none of it. <laughs> As flames just... And the, there's like almost a concussive force to it. That you're almost, it seems like it's almost trying to just blow towards you away. And the other one, so it does that. It'll stay right there, kind of trying to protect, so. And the other one's stunned. Okay. Well. This one looks, is looking rough. Okay. I will fire off a chill touch at it again. Roll it with advantage because it is stunned. Uh, and I got a 25. Oh, yes. So that is a crit. Oh, you're a crit? Well, it's a, it's stunned. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see, that's 10, 20, 33 damage. Still kicking? Still kicking. All right, then I will also send one of the stars orbiting my head, leaving me with four stars, no, five stars left. Five star wizard. No, I started with seven. I've, this is my third one, so I'm down to four star. Four star this wizard. This car is a little dirty. Really, yeah, we've kind of gone downhill a little bit. Service was bad. That would be a crit. Well, well it's already right, a crit, but still. So it's going to be 8d12. 8d12? So you got. I, yeah, I've never had to roll this many d12s in my life. Ooh, okay, well, that's 27 plus. Uh, let's see, that's 31, wait, yeah, 37, uh, 41, 42, 52, 52 damage. How? <laughs> oh, it's unceremonious, because the chill touch gets under its scales, and it's a skeleton hand, so it's just ripping under scales, and then the star, I think, just hits it directly in the face, and sort of that sticky, purple, like, pulsing energy, uh, and leaves a smoking crater where once it there was dragon face. <laughs> falls, you see it, and it's spilling out what is honestly gold and silver blood. I mean, it looks basically like the finest liquid as it spills and kind of hits your feet. And the one next to you is just a lament. It just, ah! <laughs> That's all I got. Nice, okay. nice teamwork That's there. That's so some solid damage from a crit. Rollerick. All right, I'm gonna start swinging on the other guy. Yeah, almost no damage on this one, a little bit, but very little. That won't change with that attack. No, it will not. Attack number two. That hits. 25. Thank you, Eight. Appreciate you. And a con save, you know I got him. Beat it. Okay. And uh, almost emboldened, just you try to hit, and it seems to almost kind of be puffing the, like the scales out, making it harder for you to land blows. Nice. Bonus action attack again. Wow, that's impressive. Well, that is. Well, okay. Okay. All right. So I have to decide before I make the bonus action attack if I want mm. to yes. flurry of blows. Yeah, because it's yeah. immediately afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Black Fist. All right, I am going to move over to it. I think I can get to it, right? I can't really see. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can get in there. Um, I'll, I'm just going to move it this way, just for uh, okay. just for funsies. And then I'm going to cast a... Where is it? A fifth level vampiric touch. Oh, I am I so proud. Okay. So, um, give me that die. Make sure I hit him. Got it. You're trying to start siphoning it off, and you can essentially feel it too. In this dragon's lament, there's almost just an aura that's being put off that you're trying to get spells through, but it's just kind of naturally putting out. Oh, actually, it stays up, so cool. I can keep doing it. Okay, tight. It's kind of all around it, but. I would have, yeah, I would have sheathed my axe and done it with my hand. Gotcha. Thanks for attacking Steve Skeleton a little late. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh no. This is just more for no screen. 
right? Yeah, I think I'm abandoning the DM screen. I, 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 what are you, you going to do for the initiative? Uh, Raven's, Raven's working is apparently on something. working on a surprise for that. So uh, I'll find out soon. It did not recharge. Because so. I have the thing. The flag pole? Bar, all that. That I looked good on. The flagpole? <laughs> Get it with the flagpole, dude. <laughs> Old flagpole Jeff. All right. That's what they call me. What's your armor class? Uh, 18. 18. 19, sorry, 19. All right. It's a bite coming down on you. Woo. And it got you. Yep, I was gambling there. Some chompas. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. I'm down. Double lot. Take 26 Yikes. damage. That's exactly. Well, actually, I'm not. I stand back up because of Death Ward. Yes, you do. Do that. At one hit point? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a half orc, first of all. I haven't all. used that yet. Oh, yeah. Death, death, death Ward first. first. Yeah, cool. It will attack you again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. So I'm down. Then You're down and get back, back up. up. <laughs> brings you back up. You're like that. Tub. It will attack you with the yeah, time. See if I can get him. Yes. <laughs> nice, yeah. dude. Yeah, yes. I think it. Well, what was your armor class again? I forget. Uh, 19. 19. Yeah, I missed. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so it, the magic kind of keeps you up. It knocks you again with a claw, and you stand back up just with orcish. You're just. <laughs> And it tries again, but you manage to kind of block out of the way. I almost awesome. took the Orcish Fury. Yeah. Where you can stand up and attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. looks cool. Zelak. All right. Do we have potions of any kind? Uh yeah, you would all have the supreme healing potion, whatever the so whatever the eight, top eight D four plus eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh okay. I will... I'm just going to keep at him. I'm, I like this little combo I got. I got a couple stars left. I got four stars left at this point, so the first is a chill touch. That's going to be a no from me, dog. Okay. And now I'm firing off another star at him. That's it. Four... Twenty-one. All right, to just a shooting star as it kind of lays into the one of the wings, and you can see for a moment the wing go kind of limp. Rollerick. Keep going with the usual. God, I rolled oh, so dude, many you, ones. That's the fifth one you've yeah. rolled on that die. Second attack. Uh, no, six or nine. That's a six, I believe. I think yeah, I think you're right. Uh, so that's 18? Yeah, yeah. You got it. Nice. Four, six. I'll con save, please. God, come on. I just need you to do it once. Right. Bonus action. Hit. For 11. Con save, please. Shot. God oh, damn it. God. You're trying to do the same, but it's so just kind of enraged that you're, you're hitting... And they're just kind of spiking all over the place. Anything else, my dude? Afraid not. Okay. If you'd let me stun them, I would bonus action zip away. But I can't let you do anything <laughs> at all. It's purely the dice. On you can roll a d4. Servant to the narrative. Black fist. All right. Uh, continue with the vampiric. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a 29. Yep. All right. And then I'm also going to trigger my... Um, my touch of death. Uh, so it's going to do another. I'm going to spend uh, my channel divinity. Okay. And do another 35 on top. Of this. 35 on top of that. And then I will, unless you rule otherwise, I will get half this total back. Hey. Oh, oh good God. lord. Oh, like sad lord. That was 10 damage on 5t6. So it's. Uh, so 45 damage. Got it. Um, and that was. And you get five back? So you'll heal 22? Yeah. Right. And then I'm going to drink my potion. <laughs> <laughs> you start pulling out again that kind of silvery blood that's just all tiny droplets in the air, and it kind of starts to close your wounds. Okay. Oh. 
It did not recharge. Hmm. Huh. This actually works. The, the, the melee attacks are worse. It might be, yeah. Great. Especially against Andrew. This one is coming at you with a bite. What's your armor class? 20. 20. Uh, missed you, actually. Here's a claw. Gotcha. You take 15 damage, and another claw comes at you. Absolutely gotcha. And you take 18 more damage as you miss the bite, but it just... <clears throat> one claw kind of gets you and holds you, and the other one, I mean, it's honestly almost just a slam, and you feel dragon claws just <laughs> sink in and pull out. Okay. Isn't that nice? Zelok. All right, Zelok's going to keep on keeping on. Send a star his way. Uh, yep. Yeah. I believe so. Ooh, that's the big money. 21. Yeah, 24 average. damage. Yeah. That average, 24. I looked it up online. Yeah. It's average. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, chill touch. Uh, that would be a 17. That does not hit. Uh, he, he looks <laughs> stunned because he's hit every other one. <laughs> that's all I got. It's almost, it's trying to kind of pick up all of you and feels the rhythm like one got it but knows that another's coming and manages yeah. to dodge out of the way as it right. skids over. Cool, love it. Relic. Here I go again. It's not looking good. You can kind of see the the inky blackness of the stars kind of sitting in the vampiric just <clears throat> you can see it kind of moving and still pulling out droplets of blood. Your own handprints just, I mean, like bent in metal. 17. Does that get him? Nope. That does. For 13? Uh, yeah, go ahead and make me a con save. Okay. Passed. Mm. <laughs> All I see is like 17s one. and 18s. This is your last one. Yep. Hit. 22. Uh, 11. Just make me a con save, Sean. Last Make me a Sean point. save. Come on. Passed. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. 7, 17? 17. Probably. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I stunned one dragon. Okay. It's still... Number one dragon stunner. You've still continued, and it, you can see the kind of sway in it. It's still ferociously fighting, but it also, you feel like it might just be pushing up strength. It's, right. it's looking rough. All right, well, uh, I'll just do the um, uh, vampire touch again. Got it. Uh, 21? Yeah, we have. Yeah. I'm going to use another channel divinity and hit him for another this plus 35. That's better. So, so 50 damage. How? I think he just he he reaches up and the the necrotic energy like disintegrates the uh, the 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 scales on the outside and he just starts pulling away and just throwing his hand in and he just unleashes the death magic from his uh, his touch of death. Right. And it just kind of like eats away from the inside. It just hollows it out. You see one last before it reaches a look down at the other dead dragon. It's like, I'm sorry, brother. I am not. And falls. Give no my regards. Tight. Two dead, majestic gold dragons. Beings of law, order, and goodness lay absolutely mutilated before our party. Yay! <laughs> and with that, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in 10, y'all. Hey, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to us here at Castle Mac. We're so happy that you came. The point of this video is just to do a little bit of housekeeping on the break. That way, when you come back, we can just jump straight back into the action with whatever show that you were watching. If you're watching us live right now on Twitch, you can go ahead and mash that follow button up here. If you're watching us a little bit later on YouTube, you can mash that subscribe button right down here. We stream live on Twitch on Tuesdays and Sundays, both at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And we try to upload our videos to YouTube about 48 hours later.
Twitter, so you can follow us there, youtube.com slash castlemap. If you want to talk to us outside of our streams, then you can go ahead and follow us on Twitter. Sometimes we post schedules there if we're going to be streaming in between. We have some friends of ours that stream on our channel, the Macalites. We also do a March of Style campaign with some of our friends in our Discord, and that happens periodically. You can follow our DMs, Stephen and John. You can follow any of us, and you can find our names right underneath of our characters on our nameplates. So we would love it if you would follow us, and you can find us on our other streams there. And also, if you want to talk to us off of Twitter, you can follow us on our Discord. We have a Discord server. You just go to our Twitch channel, scroll down a little bit, and you can follow that link. We are there pretty much all the time. There are people from all over the world, so no matter what time you're chatting, I guarantee there will be someone there to chat back at you. It's so much fun. Everyone in there is so nice. And I just want to talk now a little bit about what goes on during our Twitch streams. So for every 500 bits donated or every sub, we get a divine reroll. That is basically the God saying, you can reroll that terrible d20 roll that you just made as a player. If you roll badly, you can reroll that and hope for better. But also, if the DM rolls really hot and it's going to hurt us, we can make him re-roll that in hopes that he won't hurt us quite so badly. So it's great. And with those bits, it allows us to upgrade some of our equipment. We've been able to get new microphones, so we sound so much better than we used to. We have these lapel mics. We're hoping to get some new cameras in the future. And with those bits, we're able to uh, pay artists from Twitter that we find to do character portraits. We found some on Facebook that are really great. We've been able to commission a new theme song for our Waterdeep Dragon Heist campaign. The art looks amazing, and we're so happy to be able to give that back to artists that we found. So with that, we are so happy that you are here. We are so thankful to have you as a viewer and a subscriber and a chatter in our Discord. We hope that you will stay around because in the next few minutes, we'll be coming back to whatever show you're watching. We're so happy that you're here. So thank you so much.
before you stands the hulking dead masses of gold dragons. Dead. The chamber is now incredibly quiet. And in fact, there's a heaviness that kind of hangs. There is a sound that they hear. The hacking of a great axe on the neck of gold dragons. <laughs> one face is completely gone, but the last one, you just... Necrotic <sighs> energy spilling out of my axe. And you rip and pull and just kind of drag backwards as one of the heads just slides across its own silvery blood and just... A treasure for later, if you will. Sure. And a short rest for now. A short rest? <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely ready for a short rest. Short rest. All right, let's spend a lot of dice. I wish D&D Beyond would let you both look at your hit point total and your hit dice. So let's see, I'm down 21. Let's assume we're going to spend at least three hit dice. Oh my god. 20. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Good. Yeah. Get better. It's been four yep. hit dice to be healed. Well, 17. 17 plus 9. Oh my god. Oh man, I forgot how to go to full screen. How did I get the full screen from here? Uh, so I get back seven. No, it rounds up. I get back eight spell yep. slots, don't I? Yeah, at this level. Mm. Yeah. I get it's back pretty tasty. 15 key points. Oh, yes. Back my mage armor spell slot. I'm gonna cast another false life on myself. I am gonna bring back some of my dead dudes. So animate dead is let's see. If I brought if I spent a fourth level slot, I'd get three back. If I spend a fifth level slot, I'll get five back. Let's do that. Uh, Consider they get plus one more after whatever spell slot you spend. Oh, okay. Just take one more. Tight. All right. So I'll get, I'll get all the boys back then. The boys are back in town. Is that what you're gonna say? No. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, kid. So I got one zombie. Uh, actually, I'm gonna. Nah, I don't think I have that choice. One zombie. Lots of skellings. Skellington. Skellington. <laughs> Before you is another door. I will be invisible. Okay. This time I'm going to keep my skeletons back. They're going to be 20 feet behind us. Gotcha. There is a door, like a closed door? Yep. Okay. I'll just pop these here. We'll consider them 20 feet behind you. Whenever the door does open, I will kind of scurry in invisibly and if if time allows just I'll kind of get off to the side I'll open the left door you can open the right door we'll let you scurry can you open it <laughs> <laughs> come here you two come push here. that open get you do see that open. outside of you find other places that are kind of shadowy but outside of this area it's still pretty bright in here okay um what you see before you, there's a large kind of platform that looks ornately designed, and it has, it looks like an altar of some sort, too. And you see statues of clearly kind of behemoth gold and platinum dragons. Again, you see these strange kind of arcane wheels in the corner, and then there's giant braziers of just flame that are kind of lifting around. Cool. Before you, there are two golden dragonborn and they're holding great swords down on the ground and up in the top though you see the kind of golden aspects tinged into the skin but simple robes it looks like an old man did he say anything? Stan's kind of looking at all of you appraising you
Should you enter here, you will not leave. Abandon this. It's too late, old man. The place is ours. Your guardians have fell before us. You will fall also. I don't know that that's true. Even if you take this place over, you'll never understand its true power. I'm sorry to say that you're all cowards. Whatever gives you that idea. We just fought through your entire retinue. To serve selfish ends is to not be brave. You are cowards walking in the footsteps of all those who would fill a conqueror's spot. Of course. You may think yourself brave, but I think you foolish. You're letting your window to escape, ass. I am tied to this place. Well, fair enough. Stands up. You can hear it. Holding nothing. He doesn't have like a floppy red wizard hat. He does not. Okay. Bald head also, but you do see kind of almost it's a gold goatee that seems to have like kind of beads and braids within it. I said we all roll initiative. Yeah, um, we're ready. Pass. Pass. Oh! Look at you. What'd you get? 21. So that's going to beat me for once. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Mal tonight's awesome. <laughs> Tonight sucks. <laughs> okay, well, uh, he's definitely going first with a 30. Oh my God. <laughs> that's uh, 31. Seems good. A 31, excuse 31. Me. Is that it? Uh, you are 21. Yeah. Okay. 18. 18. Very good. And what about you, I'm Zell? a big 15. Is there any other way out of this room? Door. Okay. Door behind you. Yeah. Or on the far side, excuse yeah. me. Uh, yeah, sure. Go. And what is the lighting situation? Pretty much bright. It's pretty bright in the, in the center. You probably have some... This you cannot actually get. Under. Oh. Underneath, but if you were kind of in the shadows around gotcha. it, you could do it. There's there's a little bit of shadow, I think, probably within five feet, just because they're raised. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what you see is... Immediately, he just... Disappears, then it's over. Disappears. Is it a spell that he cast? Yeah. No. It does not. Just vanishes? Just vanishes. Coward. (laughs) He is, isn't he? All that talk. Okay. Yes. Black Fist, it is you. Uh, so from there, at this guy. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to try to hit him with a ray of sickness. All right. Yep. Uh, that's a 25. Yes, you hit. Okay. So, <sighs> good lord. Uh, three points of poison damage. Uh, is he immune to poison? He's not. Okay. He is poisoned for one round. So, gotcha. disadvantage on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just going to pop this right here to remind me of that. Um, Does poison give disadvantage on saving throws, too? Yeah. It's pretty much, I, if you look at it, you, have to, uh, you, you can probably look it up quicker than I can on that I, thing. I believe you. It's on the DM screen, actually. Yeah. yeah it's the like only reasons it. for having the DM screen around. I'm pretty sure it's no. like saves attacks. Poison creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. That's all Not says. saves? Not saves. Not saves. Okay. Well, that was a waste of a spell. Uh, so, bonus action. That was the first little spell. That's actually... I'll I'll start moving towards him. This one? Yeah. Okay, so let's just say you're here. 30. Yeah, and I'll draw my action. 
taxes. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roderick, they still cannot see you at this moment. Okay. No getting around in it, though. It sounds like they're going to see me. Fifty-five, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and I will attack him. Uh, that is, does it that is a hit. So. This man is on attacks. It's still something. For 13. 13. And a con save, please. Ah, man, F monks. <laughs> F monks. No, F Sean. <laughs> yeah, seriously. He's <laughs> got the saying. You, you hit in the plate that you hit. It's, I mean, it's harder than typical plate itself. I mean, as you look at it, it's ornate, it's ancient, and then as you hit, it just kind of shrugs it off. Well, let's see if you can do it two more times. I'm sure you can. 21? That's it, yeah. Four, nine, and a con save, please. Uh, what am I trying to beat? Seven, 17. Failed. Oh, that means it was close. Boy. I'll go ahead and so stunned and poisoned. Stunned and poisoned. <laughs> well, since he's there, I'm going to flurry of blows. Yeah, get those crits in. So advantage and crits, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, we may hit. That's it. Only three. Four. Thirteen. And one more. Yes. Four. Fourteen. Okay, you, now you're just You can feel it as it just Frozen in place Great movie yeah, yeah. Great film well, Let's call it a film if it's good yeah. That one Cannot do anything But it will mm-hmm. Poor fella Actually, I'm sorry After your turn Excuse me Nothing happens. That's right. <laughs> uh, will you, Blackfist, please <laughs> actually make me a wisdom saving throw, which I'm sure you're actually pretty good at. Uh, 15. Do I see something coming at me? Do I no, see anything you, happening? Well, you see this one coming at you, eyes locked. Uh, I'll... Yeah. Uh, wow, I hope so. A 26. Yes. Oh, be a little scary if not. For a huh? moment, watching it come at you, you're afraid. Oh, sh- yeah, I'm glad you, I made that. You're, you're like, huh, I mean, just moving deftly with a great sword. And you're like, I mean, I'm in this thing's lair. Yeah. And yeah. you're, be like, no. Shake it off. No will protect me. Zalak. All right, with a bonus action, I will forward send these all. Yeah, they definitely move with precision. 10, they're pretty much in a line, right? Yeah, yeah. 20, 30. Well, they're 20 feet 40. behind you, right? Yeah, 20 feet, you're right. Yeah. So, so call it a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I'm basically going to have them Just like a form a little picket line. <laughs> yep, form a little phalanx to protect me. Such a gamer, every other square. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're forming a, they're forming the defensive barrier, uh, and then I will. Eh, you know what? It's not often that I'm gonna get to cast these, and I know I'm burning a higher level slot. I'm gonna do a level seven uh, disintegrate on that boy that's poisoned right there. Okay. <sighs> Fine. Okay, so that's uh, this. Pretty good. 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, that becomes, that's 85 damage. I'm in you. You manage to just duck out of the way (laughs) as it just, it's enveloping and you see the armor 
almost right in underneath it, the scales start flaking off like ash. But it, you can see it exhale as it's still definitely up. All right, that's me. Okay. Boss left, so we can just take him off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're fine. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Zelloc. Target you now. Oh. From right next oh. to you. Oh! Out of invisibility, it... Right mm. into your chest. Would your armor class, my dude? Uh, yeah, actually, is, there's uh, not a single thing you can me. do about it. <laughs> Go ahead, dare you. Try to shield that. That should be a shield. My hit points didn't restore on my rest. I hit restore. Hit confirm. I don't know. Yeah, to hit. I, I never actually use Beyond for character management in live. Will you please make me a Constitution saving? Oh God, God, no, no. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna spend this. Okay. I am not trying to get stunned. I'm not trying to be a number one stunner. Oh god. This is 25. Yeah, I actually rolled a 25 on a d20. That's <laughs> good enough, I failed. <laughs> I got good news for you. Oh, it's not and stun. bad news. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. what I'm waiting for. It's not a stun. Okay. As the hand hits your sternum, you start to feel vibrations oh, all over your body. Shit. Like small explosions. <laughs> just. You can oh, feel no. bleeding already internally. That's not, that's not ideal. I mean, it's just not ideal. It's just like a sharper image massage chair. Yeah, what it feels well, like. There's forty right there. I'm a wizard, dude. You it can't worked. take those kind of hits. That's fifty-eight damage. Ugh. I, have to, I have to bring up my tablet keyboard for that. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Seriously, I don't know how to do that. You just type in the number and then hit oh. heal or damage, and it'll take the whole value without doing it. I'm more. saying I don't know how to bring up my keyboard. <laughs> if you just hit it, it should bring it up, I think. Nah, I have to Does be it? out of. I just have to be out of full screen mode. That's all. Nope. Oh, that's... There we go. There it is. There it is. It's well, down on the taskbar. I'll figure that out, Sean. I'll get there eventually. Got it. Well, it <laughs> does that, and it doesn't. It almost as you look into this being's eyes. Almost seems to be sympathetic or feel sorry. For like, you. like I mean, it looks like it pities you. Nah, man, I don't need that. I don't need its pity. That probably pisses that lock off. It was fifty-one damage, right? Yeah. Uh, no, it was fifty-eight damage. Fifty-eight? Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Me in the middle. Uh, black fist. Uh, I'm gonna move up here. I'm sure, you're fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, attack him with advantage. Uh, let's see what we're doing with this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna swing first. Uh, Twenty-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Uh, so let's see. I got that's necrotic. That's the axe. And then it's a crit, so I'm gonna add this, and then one more d8. I think I crashed my keyboard somehow. Uh, that's 37 on that. Okay. Still up? Yeah. Okay. Um, and. I'm going to bonus action cast um, spiritual weapon. At the, I think I'm going to do it a third also. Yeah, I'll do it a third. And he'll attack again. Yeah. 28. Oh, yeah. That'll crit also. So that is 24 more. Kind of just keep hitting, and you look and you can see its eyes darting back and forth. Doesn't look afraid, but almost you can wanting to know that it's just trying to will itself to right. move again. Hopefully, you can take him out. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best. Actually, actually, I think it can still do this. Will you? That's the end of your turn. Make sure it says you can't take actions. I'm pretty sure when you're stunned. 
make sure what his thing is not an action. Yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's, yeah. that's a legendary action, so never mind. Go right ahead, Nothing bad my dude. Happen, right? uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. You did end your turn. Uh, this one here is... <clears throat> no, I mean... What? Ah, this thinking? one here is like, for the justice maker! And this one <laughs> comes around you oh, with tight. a karate chop. Miss. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> as you are kind of backing away as it just <laughs> glides over your head. <sighs> Take it. But this one also. No, nah, man. After that turn. Now you can go. All right. Swing on this guy. 22? Yes. That's a crit, right? That is a crit, yeah. That's so. <laughs> terrible. Eight. Okay. I don't think I'm going to keep trying to stun. How is he looking? Uh, Definitely hurt, but definitely still up. Oh, thanks, Cranio Dad, for that little party. I'll take a con save then. Okay. I think that failed last time. That failed? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. I'll keep swinging on him. Second attack. Definitely hit. For 16. Okay. And I'll flurry of blows, do two more. First one, uh, 21. That hits. All right, that is 21, right? Yes. For 18. All right. And attack number four. Oh my oh, God, wow. are you kidding me? Uh, I can re-roll on it, right? No. No, nah, we don't want to re-roll on advantage. On advantage. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Too powerful. Fair He's still enough. stunned, though. Yeah, and I mean, you can see... You're just not strong enough to kill him. You can see the blood. I mean, it's stunned, but it's coming out of, like, just the mouth in there. And I mean, you are digging in blows that you can hear crunches underneath armor that you know the pain must be excruciating. Poor fella. Do you give him a sympathetic look? <laughs> <laughs> just, just a cold, I don't care look. So he's not stunned anymore, I guess. Is that what the red one No, was? he is. He's not. Oh, right. He, I just re him. I'm an idiot. But he hasn't got a chance to even swing yet. Poor fella. Okay. Actually going to dash and I would like for you to please no actually He'll move and then do it right yeah do it right there will you please make a uh, I'm sorry wisdom saving throw which you're also pretty good at Total. You got a pretty good save. Is that just a. Oh, right. I finally forget my you know, saves different. Yeah. Okay. 18. <laughs> I always look at that number. 18? Yeah. I'm afraid that does not do it. Oh! You are. That's terrible. As it's running up and you kind of look behind you, you can see the rage in its eyes and the great sword in your. You're afraid. It's big. Like it's a big Wait. dragon foot. Um, Six foot tall, weighs a fucking ton. <laughs> <laughs> dragon born, dragon born. I don't get fright. Uh, how does frightened work? Just so I know. I've uh, never are you immune to frightened? No, but I can use an action to. You have disadvantage it. on ability checks and attack rolls uh, while the source of the fear is in line of sight, which it is, and you can't willingly move closer to the source of your fear. And how does it go away? It Whoops! Doesn't damn it. Uh, uh, It'll say on the effect. Yeah, yeah. Like like at the end of your turn. End of your turn, turn say, uh, it will be on the end of its next turn. Oh, yeah. There's no saving after that. Cool. 
I mean, not cool, but it's okay. Okay. So, that happened. That one can't do anything. All right. Zellock. Question. Based on what I saw that dude do, did it seem like he was phasing out of existence or just going invisible? You think it might just be invisible. Okay. In that case, I am going to spin my the highest level spell I've ever cast in D&D 5e, and I'm going to cast Horrid Wilting. And I'm it's a 30-foot radius. Wait, 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 wait. Or is it, no, it's a 30-foot cube. That's much worse. It's much smaller than I thought. Uh, you know what? Cancel that. I'm not going to do that. Sorry. N- knowing that, a little different. Uh, I will instead, first bonus action, be like, kill him! Send my skellies after this boy. Okay. We'll see how many can actually reach him. 10, 20, he'll go 30. This guy will go here. He'll get there. That might be about it. 10, 20, Five, yeah, pretty short. Ten, twenty, out oh, thirty. So four are gonna get there. Okay. The other four are going to close in on me, like that, or the other three. Actually, I don't think I can do that. I think I have to issue the same order to everybody. So they'll just dash. I'm gonna dash and put them in there. Gotcha. But I'm only gonna get four attacks. I can't like granularly control them. I just give like a generic order. He wouldn't even be that far. Uh, so I got four Skelling Towns attacking. They're plus nines. Uh, the lowest I got was a 14. That does not hit, right? No. Does a 19 hit? No. I'm I'm pretty sure I got one hit, unless he has higher than a 25 already. No, he definitely does not. All right. I'll take this. Six damage. Get him, Skellingtons. I mean, they're, you know, he's trying to kind of block, but there's, again, just so many blows that one you see manage to kind of dig in and him have a small, like, ugh. All right. And then with my action, I will actually uh, cast Mirror Image. That's the sound of Mirror Images appearing. Okay, that's it for me. Okay. How many Mirror Images do you have? Three. Three. Got it. Yep. Okay, well, after your turn... He is this one here is going to make an attack and going to make it on you. What's that armor class? Twenty. Yeah, gotcha. Even with all those skeletons around, I'm gonna zoom the camera in. I don't think it's actually looking at the fight. Sorry about that. I'm the. That's why I'm not the key grip. Sean is key grip. Uh, you take you take thirteen damage. Okay, as a great sword. Have you hit me with something in this fight? No. Okay, just making sure. I was like, I thought I got hit. Didn't write anything down. Okay. How high is the ceiling in here? Uh, 80 feet. Okay. Leave me alone. Ooh, there he is. And... First, he attacks, you see a, it's a similar style, but it's elegant. It's absolutely elegant as it, and he, with just two fingers, just. Was it 20? Mm-hmm. Just missed you. And again. That got you. Oh. You take 15 damage. Will you please make me a constitution saving throw? You got sack capped. 
I'm gonna spend this. Oh man, Andrew. Oh, oh man. I'm afraid uh, you're, an 11. you're stunned, my dude. Oh as god. You, as he just. Neat. Uh, I guess. Maybe possibly. Stunned and scared. Stunned yeah, stunned and, and frightened. As okay, he just gotcha. click, click, boom. <laughs> <laughs> what was that song from the was that nineties? Yeah, yeah. Click click boom. Yeah. I think it's early aughts. Was but it? But I don't remember. You take twenty-five more damage. Okay. As you just and then and blood. That dark drow blood on your very pale skin starts to come out. Okay, black fist. Yep. Well, sorry. Uh, Anti-life shell. <laughs> it, it, it edges everyone else except his undead, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So everybody goes 10 feet from you? Yeah. Except no the dead boys. So and they just he just pushes past them, I assume? Uh, he, won't, he won't draw the attack opportunity. Yeah, he just goes... Uh, I guess. So just right to here. Sure. So. And he's not willingly moving, right? Right. So he'll move out to, like, here. I mean, he's stunned, but you can st- can, can you move when you're stunned? Well, I, th- I imagine I think it, it can force you. you he moved, I would think, yeah. So, here. I'm just gonna put this... It's weird though because this is centered on a cross a on, a, on a point, but I think the effects do have to be centered on a corner. So I think you might have to pick which corner it's centered on for you. I think that's kind of the way those things okay. work. Then I would center it on that corner just to yeah. make it easy. Right, I think it'll be yeah, just like that. Oh, just at that corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it'll be there. Cool. Uh, can't and it can't willingly enter it. Just. Spells and ranged attacks. Spells and ranged attacks, mm-hmm. but... Yeah, yeah. But physically, no one can pass through it. Okay. And unless I lose my concentration. Uh, I'll read it to you again, just so it's clear. Uh, anti life shell. Uh, it remains centered on you, hedging out creatures other than undead and constructs. Um, the barrier lasts for one hour. Uh, it prevents an affected creature from passing or reaching through. An affected creature can cast spells or make attacks with ranged weapons to reach you through the barrier. Uh, if if I try to move to them to like force the barrier on them, it will end though. Okay. So I can gotcha. I can sit back and cast spells. It's kind of like a crazy like a no save. Um, uh, spiritual weapon. Or, I mean, not spiritual weapon, but um, what am I thinking of? Um, geez, anyway, dear Colin, I don't even memorize. Spirit weapon? No, no. Um, sanctuary. All right. There we go. Okay. So that's the end of your turn. Uh, You don't do anything. Yeah. So. I, mean, I figured you were kind of screwed anyway. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. So I just wanted to just. Uh-huh. That one's like, I'll never heal you again. Uh, be- <laughs> before your turn, at the end of your turn, he moves right here. At the end of your turn, he attacks you. Uh oh. Hey, I can bring you back as a zombie if you die. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. I can bring back a zombie. That got you. Ooh. You take 18 more damage as he, and then on your back is you again, just. And it's the end of your turn. So this one is breaks out. Yep, have a stun. And it is to them. Okay. Uh, 
this one is also going to attack you here with a great sword. Gotcha. Oh, this is an auto crit. Mm -hmm. I'm about to lay down. How you look like sleepy? Wow, wow. Thirty twelves versus two d twelves. In fact, boys. Holy mama. Twenty. <laughs> mama. Holy papa. Holy. Mama, papa. I go down. Oh boy. Uh, it's twenty five damage. Still up. Next attack. Gotcha. Are you at? Twelve. Yeah, you're down. Oh, you're down. <laughs> you're down. And with its actually, hold on. No, only two. For now. Uh, that one can't actually move to you, can it? Uh-uh. He's got to move around the sphere, too. Well, <laughs> pretty simple what it's going to do then. Oh, yeah. God, no. Gotcha, that's one failed death save. It's two failed death saves. Two failed death saves. Oh, Auto when you crit. take a hit. Auto, Auto crits when they're down. All right, goodbye, my dude. Goodbye. As it... <laughs> And it was down to two. I'd like to raise him as a zombie nest again. <laughs> I imagine we got some cleric goodness as long as Jeff doesn't die. Right, Jeff? As long as you don't die, right, man? The death cleric. Right, man? I don't have any raised dead stuff. Oh. Don't. <laughs> I have lots of healing stuff. There are a number of casters in the army. Some may consider their means unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that is that changes the them. Scope. Well, okay then. I am going to. Uh, hold on, I just had it. Yeah, you know what? I will center a uh, Abu Dalzim's horrid wilting. Uh, so that it affects them. I don't care if my undead are immune to it. So all three are going to get hit with a horrid wilting. I need a con save. Difficulty 20 from them, please, my dude. Okay. And... Well, he is good. Oh, fancy pants, <laughs> Sean. Hold on, let me... Sorry. Which is the one that's, like, dramatically beaten up? That one. Yeah. Uh, it looks barely standing, and he is the one that passed, and the okay. other one failed. All right, so the two that passed will take half. I have to have something for my spiritual, but I forgot it was still up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just use a dot. 30. Yeah. 39 damage, my dude. For the, so half, the half? Oh, yeah, okay. No, no, ha 39 is the max. Okay, gotcha. So half is what, 19? Shit, I probably could have killed him before he killed you. <laughs> Potentially, I'm sorry, boys. No, it's not your fault. I need to remember my own uh, spells. 39, which is what, 17? No, 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 sorry. Uh, that one is... The hurt one? Yeah, what what kind of a effect do you think? Uh, so it? it is, I draw the moisture yeah. out of them. So I think the moisture will start, <laughs> yeah, wicking up on their skin and then slurp the moisture out. Is it? Oh. You got her excited. <laughs> and then with a bonus action, slurp. attack. Uh, so I'm going to send as many as I can around to get to this guy without drawing attacks of opportunity. Okay. And as you look at him there, you see the kind of almost, it's almost a glimmer across him. You know that he has Shield of Faith on there, too. Well, see if we can make him at least do some concentration saves. Yes. I, I think you would all recognize that. So, uh... Um, well, not you. Because anyway. I'm dead. <laughs> on this boy here, I got four skelly attacks. Well, one crit. Okay. The rest, I think, are misses. 19's a miss on yes. him, right? So I did get one crit on him for big six damage. And then I've got three skelly attacks on the boss man. And then I also have a zombie attack on that other guy. 
on the boss man, I don't think 19 hits, does oh, it? No. It definitely does. And not. on the other dude, uh, zombie attack is a plus, where is it? There we go, plus three, so it adds my mod, so it's a plus eight. Uh, that'd be a 15. Man, these skellies, they suck. All right. Okay. Done. Uh, at the end of your turn, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. As you look at this one here, who's even surrounded by skeletons, and it looks at you, you're like, oh fuck. Oh fuck. And you are frightened. I don't want to move towards him anyway. You want one of my key points to re-roll it? Oh yeah, that'd be great. I would, but you're dead. I leave my key points to you. <laughs> I throw him in the corner. Even though there's no corner in the room. Okay. Whose turn? Alright, my dude, will you make a dexterity? Actually, will you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Excuse me. Sure. How's a 13? Does not do it, I'm oh. afraid. We're in danger. <laughs> do you have any uh, resistance to radiant damage? I do not. Okay. Good. Good roll. All right. Roll. Uh, he looks over at you, kind of sees that he can't get in, and and sacred flames just oh. kind of slam down, and he How kind much? of looks. Uh, you took twenty. Twenty. Okay. And it concentration sleeve. Uh, made it. Tight. Good thing I put proficiency in concepts. <laughs> okay, well, that is him as he seems to have one arm behind his back mm. and just kind of turning around as all of your skellies are there. Cool. All right, it is all your right. go. I am going to. As a bonus action, I'm going to move my spiritual weapon to, to attack him. To this dude or that? No, to big guy. Big guy. Good. Okay. Uh, 27. 27 hits. Uh, and that's considered a melee attack. So this is the, the, cha the touch of death. We'll go, I'll channel it through it. Okay. Go for it. Uh, so that's at seconds. Uh, so he takes, uh, and, uh, Jesus, I can't even think right now. Oh, real quick, speaking of your touch of death, the guy I killed, that was a necrom necromancy spell. I get the spell level times two in temporary hit points. Uh, 50 damage. That was an eighth 50? level spell. Yes. Got it. He's got 16 temporary hit points. Okay. And I get back 25, so that healed me. No, I don't. I was using I'm not thinking something else. Uh, anyway, so that was my bonus. Dragon kind of bites in, and you can see it almost pulling what half seems celestial energy. Just and he's. And then, uh, little spell. Um, God, he's got good saves all the way around. I'm sure. This dude is nasty. Yeah. Sorry, you died. Is that your first character death? Is it? All oh, right. Like the first character there? No. Yeah. Oh, that's no. right. No. He's buried. He's buried in it's like It's actually three out of four characters who have died. <laughs> and that uh, one shot. Or one, one shot. One shot, yeah. Uh, and in your one shot. So, yeah, I've died. So, so five for six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the only character who hasn't died yet is Elbin. A sweet Elbin. Uh, let's see. Well, no, um... <laughs> Whatever my OG character is. <laughs> no, Bardier, man. We all remember. He's been around. Yeah, He's made it through the whole He's episode. Through yeah, a lot. remember Bardier <laughs> through the thick and thin. You guys remember when we took Greenest? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Poopy Bardier. Oh, Bardier. Been around since the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Charisma save. Charisma save. Mm -hmm. Okay. What am I looking to beat here? Seven, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 19? No, didn't. Vanished. 
Okay. Ooh, wee. Now we can deal with the other one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right. That's it for me. Okay, that was the end of your turn, too. So, actually, at the end of your turn, what it would do would be make an attack on this zombie boy right On that here. zombie. <laughs> he hit. It is they a, have yeah, a Definitely hit that zombie, baby. Uh, oh, sorry, I had to remember. Uh, 24 damage. Okay. He's still rocking and rolling. Got it. You don't give a shit. All right. Now, <laughs> now it is his. Oh, I like, like, like thirty-two. Uh, uh, thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. All right. Well, it's now making oh, it's three times your proficiency. Than it is. Yeah, three times. It's so now thrice. making an attack on that same zombie. Okay, that actually brings him down. We need, need to know the damage, though, for the save. Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's a 28. Well, I don't, I'll don't think, I don't think he's coming back from that one. <laughs> yeah, I'll, just I'll leave him there, because I can always res him again. All right. Uh, this one here, him. it okay. will attack. Uh, what, what's uh, the Skelly? 13. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I need to buy them like they were. Huh? Yeah. I need to give them plus one weapons. 13. Uh, damage. damage, okay. And that's it for that. You can give him my bracers. Okay. Yeah, I'll just pick them off your corpse real quick. <laughs> Kill you. Uh, can I get that dude right there to please make me a con save, my dude? Sure. Absolutely failed. Okay. I will cast Blight upon him <laughs> as, uh... Necromantic energy washes over a creature of your choice, draining moisture and vitality from it. Four. Pretty good. Ten. Ah! Twenty. Thirty-six points of damage, my dude. And then I will kill him. And I'm just gonna move him there. Have my skelling towns surround him. And make seven different attacks. <laughs> We're gonna beat twenty. So twenty is the armor class. I'm not gonna. This should be fine. Actually, I got two crits and they all hit. Wow. Two crits and everybody hit. 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 Here's the four non crits. That's the best thing this channel's ever done. That is 14. That's 18 points of damage. I also have one dude who I hadn't rolled yet because I was six rolls and there's seven dudes. Here's one more. Did not hit, of course. Kill him. And now here are the crits. So 18 so far, right? Yep. Uh, and 12 more, so 30 total 30. damage. All right, Skellies, you finally were worth your they all worth attack your at the same time. Meal. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're doing it and just <laughs> two crits and everybody hits. They, they're all just. I mean. There's nothing ceremonious, they're just kind of jabbing, but <laughs> yeah. there's so many, I mean, coming at it, but still he's... <sighs> Dang. Boss. Does nothing. Does nothing. Okay. Yeah, and if is... I had an inspo, I'd give it to you for that. <laughs> it is your go, my dude. Uh, Alright, so, um, my weapon, my little, my little sacred little... Toothies? Uh, no. E20, right? Yes. Uh, and then I will. Uh, uh, chill touch. Try to chill touch him. Try to touch and chill? Nah. Got it. You're, you're trying, but it's almost the way he's moving the great sword around, almost like it's a magical barrier. Just, he's just. Eh. And he's conaning it just kind of over. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, are you? Is he look hurt? Yeah, you got hammered, didn't you? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm back. Uh, what happened that brought me you back? You got some temporary hit points. I got some. You know, yeah, maybe I'm not the back. Crap out of you. Yeah, no, I am. I'm, yeah. I'm hurting. Okay. I'm at 49, but I have 16 temps. So. All right. After. 
your turn. Which did I hit this one before? Yeah, Is that the one. Hit one of them. Just pick. Doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It makes an attack and gets them. Whatever. Probably whatever you roll kills them. If you want to speed that up. Yeah. I think they probably take two hits to die because they have they have a little over thirty hit points. Gotcha. But probably any two will do it. Yeah. Any two will do. Any two will do. Two one grits. That's it. Two grits. <laughs> it's you, <laughs> Zelloc. Okay. Uh, once again, attack. Bonus action to command them as they all raise their swords in unison. Okay, that is crits, four hits. Everybody. Four hits, two crits, four hits, two crits, two crits, two crits. Two crits. Uh, and Black Fist, as you're over there, you see the. Oh that. shit, yeah. Uh, by the way, my uh, anti life shell's gone. Gotcha. You see that some of the wounds are healing. It's not a lot, but some of the wounds. Okay. That was 19 damage from the Skelling Towns. Okay. And screw it. You know what? I'm casting a... Uh, hold on to that. Go ahead and make me another constitution save. I'm just going to keep blighting him. I'm just trying to suck the moisture. And what am I trying to beat again? 19? You're trying to beat a 20. A 20? It's going to try to shrug it off okay. and roll again. And hold on, hold on, hold on. It'll continue to try. Made it. What? Oh, it just spins. You to keep trying? Uh, no. I don't, I don't Something know. else. I don't need to know. All right, so it'll take half this. Uh, pretty shite roll. Ten, twenty-nine. So half that is fourteen. He's not a plant, is he? <laughs> <laughs> they take double damage. I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's not a plant. <laughs> okay. Uh, make a knowledge. Knowledge nature. nature. <laughs> no, not a plant. You, 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 you don't, don't know anything right now, right? Uh, I'm actually kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> do you want to play my skellies? So you my skellies? <laughs> just one. Just give him one. Yeah. <laughs> give me one skeleton. Uh, it is you, Black Fist. <laughs> okay. Um... You can keep working on the lyrics to two crits to do everybody hits. <laughs> I'll actually move around to attack him and have have my uh, my big old toothy face of dragon attack. Nope. And then I will swing. Uh, Twenty. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's what you need. Uh, so. So that's uh. 19 damage. Gotcha. Okay. Should have done something else. It didn't uh, look like his wounds are healing. A little bit. Yeah. Like, not, it's not okay. an insane amount. Uh, after. Because uh, Chill Touch will stop that. After your turn. Some regeneration. True. That's true. It missed you, but now it is his turn. Okay. And. He raises great sword. Yeah. Shields well. Okay. Uh, what is? All right. Oh. Get those concentration dice ready, yeah, my dude. I am. Uh, you take fourteen damage. Okay. Yep. No problem. Second attack. Absolutely gets you. Uh, Seventeen more damage. Okay. So Thirty-one. I have plus eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you are. That's that's him though. Is he just is? You roll for my skellies. It doesn't matter. Do it, my dude. Come on, roll for my All right. skellies. What am I rolling here? Let's roll those. Let's hope I do it. Get lots of crits. Okay. And everybody hits. I got one, uh, one crit. Not bad. One crit and four total hits. One crit and four total hits. <laughs> one crit and four, four total hits. Nah, this doesn't. Four, two, four total crits. <laughs> the music like starts getting sadder as the hits get worse. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have the big false sadder to come into. Uh, We're talking about crits. <laughs> We're gonna do little hits. 
12. <laughs> uh, okay, and that's plus another four. So 16 points of damage from then. And I have not seen them healing, right? I think it would be a little nah. too meta for me to There's cast no uh, Chill Touch when he's trying to do more damage at this point. Uh, how many total corpses are in this room? One, two, three, three for you. Four for the other dude we killed. Yeah. <laughs> um... Nah, Dance Macabre isn't that great. Zombies and skeletons. <clears throat> isn't there one that lets me, like, oh, it's create undead. That lets me, like, raise a ghoul. But I don't have any spell slots left. All right. Um, you know what? I'm actually kind of out of big hit spells, so I think I will hit him with a chill touch. But I think he would have done that anyways, even not, not realizing it's going to. Yeah, do it up, man. Yep. 3d8, right? All right. 12, 17. No more regens. No huh? more regens. Got it. You start, you see the touch kind of uh, pull the wounds back open. Okay. All right. It is your go, Black Fist. All right. Um, uh, my spiritual weapon. Yeah. 28. Four seventeen. Sorry. Uh, 15. 15. Okay. And, disengage. Move me towards you. Gotcha. Uh, after your turn, it will make an attack on this one. That's why I wouldn't get away from Has he hit that one yet? Uh, I don't no, think so. No, focused. Okay. Yeah. That's a hit. I, I, I'm cool to just say it's All two right. hits if you want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can roll for it if I'm you want. I'm good with it. They've got more than you can take down in a single one. Uh-huh. Enough to survive, too. All right, so that's one hit on it. And then it is <clears throat> its turn, so it will attack that one yep. again. Oh, yeah. Two hits and that's all it gets. And you can break up two the... hits and that's all it gets. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I won't do that. It'll attack <laughs> this one right here. Yep. yep. So there's one hit. Uh, so, yeah, yep. So which one was it that you attacked? This one. I'm okay. just singling out this side over here. Cool. It is your turn. All right, you want to roll for five skellies this time, Andrew? All right. Roll good. Keep keep those crits coming. No crits. No three hits. Three hits. Three hits. No That's going to be three plus. Oh, not so bad this time. Uh, that is actually 17 damage. Okay. I'll take that. And on my turn, yeah, I'm going to just have to keep on the chill touch. Just keep on keeping That's on. Good damage. There are five corpses now. I'm one away from Dance Macabre. But all right, I'll, I'll chill touch him. That got him. For 11 damage. Okay. All right, up to the top of the turn. Let me mark that down. All right, and it is your go. All right, spiritual weapon. Uh, 22. Yes. For uh, 13 damage. And then I'll try to hit him with a uh, um, uh, little ghostly hand. Yeah, that hits. Uh, for another uh, 18 damage. 18? Yeah. Ghostly yeah. hands just, yeah, tearing, just tearing at him. At him. <laughs> it does, in fact, finally just kind of rent the armor, pull the heart out as it. Oh, killed him? Yeah. Oh, and uh, okay. Slumps Plenty forward. Of corpses now. Okay. I've marked down that I'm Homeboy's been gone. I had him down for four. Four times he's gone. Is it three turns? I have you got three, three. but I, I'll go with what you had. All right. So you all have. Six rounds? Six rounds. I'm drinking a potion. Yeah, me too. Okay. Drinking no, a no potion. No coming back, huh? Um, 
All right, I will. Eight d four plus eight. I'm gonna throw cure wounds on myself while he's doing that. Cause I already used my potion. I should be at win one, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, that was awful. And I'm gonna cast false life on myself again. Okay. That's for round. I don't know that I have anything else that's great to have just yet. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna have you come near me to cast another spell the round before. All right. Or just be with your skellies. We'll all just be all together. Yeah. I want to start next to where he's gonna come out. Oh yeah, because he comes right back where yeah, he was. Right. Exactly. He was what like here, here, wherever it was. Can my skellies? Can I command them to form a? Defensive perimeter. I'll probably be able to get through them. But. Sure. Yeah, you definitely can. I think there's definitely enough time. Cool. All right, I'm going to cast. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but it doesn't say unholy. Holy aura. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to wait till. Are you done casting spells? Yeah, I'm. I'm all I'm going to do. I'm going to be holding an action okay. for when he arrives. Um, I will hold a spell, of course. Actually, why don't you be? Uh, you need to be within thirty feet of me. So actually, that's fine. I'm f- actually, I'm fine being like here. Anyway, oh, wait. Okay, we're all in range. So. Creatures of your choice in thirty foot radius. It says shed dim light. I mean, it's holy aura, but... Yeah, 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 I gotcha. It's like a darkness or something. Uh, Dark light. They have advantage on all saves, and all other creatures have disadvantage on attacks against them. Tight. Till the spell ends. Got it. Thank you, my dude. Uh, In addition, when a fiend... It doesn't matter. He's not fiend or or undead or anything like that, so... um, So that's it. Tight. As soon as that goes, (laughs) he comes back. My basement drops. It was right here that he was. Right well, he was. Yeah. Well, where I, we, I set up those dudes to be in the middle, wherever he was. Yeah. 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 Right. Sorry right. if I set right. that up. Got it. Yeah. That's fine. All right. He. My big spell. He seems to come back, open his eyes at the exact moment. Almost looks like he's been meditating. You know, he took damage, but at this point, he looks fine as he's mm-hmm. completely healed up, huh? Healed. Uh. Right. Reasonable that I was holding a spell yep. when he returned. Yes. Because I imagine he Go stopped for the it. initiative. But uh, yeah, hit me with that big con save, man. Con save. Yep. What am I trying to beat? 19? A 20. A 20. Hold on. He will choose to pass it. Uh huh. That was a pretty good roll, though. 13, uh, 20, 35. So he'll take 17. And that's it for fifth level slots. Oh, wait, no, I didn't cast out a fifth level. I only rolled eight dice. That was fourth level slot. Uh, that's me. I don't think my skeletons could have held. I think that's, they're too idiotic to... Unless you held your action for them to attack. But it's a bonus action for me to order them, and I don't even know if you can hold a bonus action. Uh, Well, you can hold an action. You can hold any action, I'm pretty sure. It could be a bonus action that you're holding. Yeah, either way. Spells. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically uh, out. Okay. Time. What you see <laughs> is he just makes a holy symbol, and it almost seems like his own personal sanctuary. Did he just cast a spell? He did. I would like to counter that spell, sir. Okay. Is it level three or lower? Yeah, it is. You see it, and you kind of rip the safety away. Sweet. But sitting on that one, and I do keeps one in the chamber in <laughs> case he was pondering. Okay. Well, that was his action. So, he will... That's what he did. 
Uh, All right, it is left. your go, and Black Fist. Scrolling down, check. No, no, no. Oh, wait, I got a third level spell. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, I'm going to, I'm just going to, uh, spiritual weapon and, uh, chill touch him. Okay. Crit! Ooh. Nice. Ooh, well, nice. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so mm-hmm. I'm going to trigger my, uh, my death thing too, so that's twenty-five. So that's um, uh, sixty points of damage. Mm, there we go. Damage. There we go. Here, tank. You can keep all of my skellies. And then uh, I'm going to try to chill touch seven. Him. Got it. No. Here, you can use one of your own d twenties. Oh, I will not. Here, I'll okay. keep one for myself. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have one help me so that I can attack on with advantage. So grab three of your own d twenties. And you guys keep track. Over twenty. He does have an over twenty armor class, so keep that in mind for yeah. any attack spells. Over twenty. Got yeah. it. You know what? I just realized I can't have one help me. I think and others attack. When I did it earlier, I just yeah. It's I think I give like one command. So we'll just have them all attack, man. So roll me, roll me seven attacks. That's what nine. Yeah. Hold on, real quick. Does his armor appear to be magical in nature? Some of it. For my action, I would like to dispel magic on him. Aren't they going first though? Ah, uh, it's a bonus action. It's a bonus action yeah, I use to command but them. He's saying that you typically have them go at the beginning of the round. Oh, I it's see a bo- I typically oh, do I my you. bonus action I first. Oh. They, they don't act on their own. Right, not right, like right. wolves. I got you. I never did. Yeah. Uh, I have to spin something. To okay, do. so you're dispelling magic. I would like to dispel magic on him. All right, it is lower, but it is still over 20, so I do need to know Oof. what they roll. Okay. Uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, 16s, uh, two 16s. So that's 25. Yeah, you hit with those two. Okay, 20 doesn't. What about a 21? Or no, no that's just a 20. Okay. Two hit. Or not two hit. Uh, that would be nine damage. And then uh, I dispelled magic, so that's it for me. Okay. After a year ago, it was nine, ten, ten, twenty. would have. Does not provoke opportunity attacks mm. as he just kind of kicks out and moves up to you. All right, disadvantage on attack, correct? Because of the holy aura. And what's your armor class? Eighteen. 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 So four uh, missed. Second one. That was it. That hits. Will you please make me a constitution saving throw, my dude? Fifteen. Ooh. Not. Uh, then another concentration save. Uh... Ten, I mean, <laughs> I need to roll a one to fail, or if they do yeah. more than twenty damage. I don't know how much damage did he do. Uh, he's gonna do a lot. Okay, <laughs> so I probably failed probably it. failed it. <clears throat> oh, I didn't roll that good, so that's good. Ten. Oh, by the way, you failed Caecilius by dying. I'll never hear about it. Until That's true. Twenty-five, thirty. Ah, uh, yeah, you take forty points of damage. Cool, cool. cool. That's great. Mm. Right, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. And that's the end of it. As again, he stunned. No, that's oh, you oh just, just the take, extra damage. Take a massive amount of damage. Cool. Thanks. That is the end of his turn. Yike. And the aura's gone. Yeah. Roll right. reducer. Okay. Uh, it is your go, Black Fist. Uh, all right. I'm going to cast... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. There's one other thing on its okay, turn. As you see a significant amount of that damage just... 
close up. Looks still a little hurt, but... Wasn't he hit with his chill, chill touch, or did you not hit chill touch last turn? Oh, sorry. Dang. He's healing! I yell out. Okay. Got it? All right, I'm going to cast... It seems as if he has a wholeness to his <clears throat> body that he reaches. I, I couldn't remember your character's name. I'm going to cast a 7th uh, level vampiric Rilric? touch. Okay. You're not talking about Caloric, right? Yeah, He's not dying. healing. <laughs> He's dead. 22. That hits. Woo-hoo, that's That probably helped with the... Uh, what should we call it? The 24 before that. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Sell all the magics, my dudes. Eh. Uh, so 24 damage. Okay. And then I heal 12. Tight. After your turn, he attacks you. Regular. And gets you. Disadvantage. Oh, it's gone. It's gone, my dude. Stupid mm-hmm. holy aura. So you take seven damage, and then I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, 25. Made it. Okay. Zelak. All right. Hearing that he is healing, I will move to get a better shot. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then with my bonus action, attack! Send in my skellies. I think they'll swarm around him again. Get those rolling hands ready, Andrew. They're ready. Three, four, five, six, seven. So they're a plus nine. So we need to roll a 13 or higher on them. Oh, I see a crit over there. A crit, uh, a crit so and two more hits. Okay, cool. <laughs> A crit and two hits. Yeah, I hey, the song. we got it. I also can't remember the song now. Yeah, yeah, it's lost. It's yeah, we'll, we'll never be able to find it. It was a it mandala. Is. It was one of the most beautiful things on this <laughs> earth, and it's gone forever. <laughs> All right, uh, three hits. One was a crit. Yep. Three hits. Our, well, our playback three. video is also going to, like, <laughs> at that just point. cut out. <laughs> and 14. That is 17 damage on him. Okay. And I, on the other hand, will launch a chill touch his way. But not so chill, because it's going to hurt. Oh! We got a critical. Got a grab. Critical. Critical touch. (laughs) Critical chill touch. That's my new jam. (laughs) Okay, that'll be... uh, That's a good fucking roll. 14, 18, 22, 26, 31 points of damage and no healing. Perhaps most importantly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after your turn, it will make an attack on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it... What were you again? 18? Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it, needs a, it needs a 5 to hit me. Uh, you take 11 damage, and I Great need you to... I'm sorry, how much did I take? Uh, say 5? Oh, no, 11. 11. 11. 11. I'm here. Critical touch. Uh, and then I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. It's my best. It's not my best. Twelve. You are knocked prone. Uh oh. Spread my legs. <laughs> <laughs> For stability, or <laughs> just, uh, just, just, just access in anger. It is. It is. It's turn. A breakaway plate. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, you got the crotch gun. Give him a little fruit basket. From and like a death back up. <laughs> <laughs> they hit him with a quick glimpse. Yeah. Like a, he's right, he's fucking a frightened. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take yeah, my armor off for a year. It's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's the focus for my blade spell. <laughs> hit ya. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take that piece back real quick. So that did not count. Nope, didn't recharge. So I'll re-roll that one. It already hit you, but we'll do a different. Oh I'll take the lower because I rolled first and it didn't crit you. So I was re-rolling that first one, oh, okay. but it, I won't make it you, crit. Yes, I, mean. I won't make it crit. That would be shitty. Uh, you shitty take eight, <laughs> if you make it crit, that would be you shitty. You take eight points of damage. Okay. okay. Make my concentration. 
will you also make a um, con save? A con save, please. Yeah. Twenty. Made it. Uh, and that one you took, I didn't actually roll it yet. So. Did I roll it? No, you didn't. No. Okay. So I took now when you take sixteen, two, and here's the third attack. Jesus Christ. Gotcha. And you take 11 more damage, and please make another con. 18? You made it. I took, I'm sorry, what did I take again? 11 again? Yep. Yeah, and 11 again. Cool. 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 You are trying to kind of roll literally with the punches. I'm at 11. Yes. <laughs> Should be fine. Okay, it is your go, my dude. Uh, tight figure. I'll stand up. Mm-hmm. Thanks, man. <laughs> Half my move, uh, my... <laughs> Uh, my uh, spiritual weapon will attack. Gotcha. For uh, 28. Yeah. I guess I can hover, huh? Uh, for 13, and then I'll try to uh, touch him. Got it. Nah. Well, no, no. It's an 18. I'm going down. Okay, after your turn. Gotcha. Well, I, I stood up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, my bad. So, my bad. I mean, they still hit me. I mean... I, yeah, I guess even the lowest hit you. Uh, you take nine more damage. <laughs> You're fine. Everything's fine. still there. I have two hit points. All right, Zellock. All right, bonus action. Make attack. the Skelly's attack. That is 7d20, needing, what did we decide, 13? Need a 13, because he's 22 armor class. Oh, I see one crit in there. One a crit, crit and, and right another away. hit. A crit and a hit. Okay. Crit and a hit. Crit and a hit. Going on down to the crit and a hit. Nine <laughs> damage. And then I will try to chill, chillingly touch him again. Okay. <laughs> that, that doesn't work. <laughs> the touch is chilling. <laughs> oh, I missed. Do I have a thing? Did I spend it already? Damn it. Oh, trust me, we're way up yeah. all our rolls. After the end of your turn. It makes an attack. Miss it, oh! Miss it. <laughs> Keep living. It is Keep its visualizing turn. visualizing my fruit basket. That's a problem. <laughs> here is... <laughs> He's like, oh. Here is his turn. Gotcha. I'm down. He's definitely down. down. Man, uh, he has multiple attacks. Two. Yeah, he'll kill me. You. He... And snaps again, and it's just you <laughs> and he. But as you oh, look, he is, he is uh-huh. not... He's not looking great. Cool. By any means. Okay, cool. Well. Uh, hey! <laughs> I will. Covers up your genitals. Why? Bo- same deal. Best Bonus of- action, all the skellies. Andrew, Damn roll it. Seven, seven dudes. Do you want to roll three of the skellies? No, no, no. no. I've been you, up for a long definitely time. Definitely not four. Yeah. I mean, you died like a bitch early. <laughs> Uh, what am I at? 13? Two hits. Three hits, Three looks hits. like. Yeah. Hey, that's, uh, that's gonna be 15 damage on him. And then I will, like, <coughs> try to chillingly touch him. Okay. <laughs> that's important. Oh, I had it! You had I it. You see the worst. I oh, Shit. After you guess who's coming. This is coming really down. Divine reroll. Can you log in and give 500 points <laughs> real quick? Andrew? Okay. Uh, that did not provoke opportunity attacks. It is now its turn. Here's an important one. Doesn't recharge. I don't know that it matters that much. I'm going to be fine. What's your armor class? 104. Uh, you got me. Yeah, yeah, actually. I don't think there's a, a thing you could do about that. Uh, you take. Forgetting, I've had to keep up with something. We'll have 10 hit points first. It'll yeah, take it right off. You take 14 damage okay. on the first one. Another one comes at you. I rolled an 8. You rolled an 8? Hold on. I know what he has. He's a 13. Uh, I am currently a 16 because I'm a plus 3 dex Still mod. Hit you. But I have shield. Oh, that put me to 21. Damn it. Yep. Let it, let it through. Uh, yeah. I uh, got you for 15. Please make a constitution save. No, this, this is going to be fine. How about an 11? Does that look pretty good? Or? You are stunned, my dude. Oh, shit. Bye-bye. I think that's it. How many hit points you got left? Uh, I have 70 left. Oh. 
Let's see what we got here. But I'm actually no, you're still fucked. He's no, gonna heal. You, he's gonna I'm crit. Stunned. Yeah, you're, it's it. He's gonna crit. You, that's it. He kills me. You kind of he's continue to that's it. get hit until all of you are gone. However, all of you wake up in a different room with some of the other healers leaving. And Kaecilius has the head of that thing. He's looking at all of you disappointed. We will pick up next week <laughs> with our friend Luke as a special guest oh, as we shit. face Luke's down good. Behemoth. All right. Well done, y'all. Well, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't was, well it was done bad at all. He, yeah, yeah, it was he was legit. Rare. He was messed up. Y'all played smart. I made it. Close. I made it incredibly difficult. If I had close. banished him, we would have been dead much earlier. Yeah. The banishment just gave us the chance, but yep. I just couldn't pull it out. That. If I'd hit him uh, with one. Those guys were nasty. Uh, the other. T- those were. Uh, those two things were warlords. That uh, a little bit They're better than they. Than they yeah. were. Uh, this I pulled from a character I never actually saw in there. This is uh, Hlam from Waterloo. Oh, yeah. Hlam. Hlam. I'm just the stats for yeah. whoever that is. I saw that earlier. Is that from Dungeons or from heist. Dragon, the Heist? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's go launch a raid and call this thing uh, done on a, on, a, on an up note. Well, at yeah. least the good guys won. <laughs> Sort of. The good guys did win. No good guys no, won. Yeah, there was no lose here. They won a small victory. We threw the fight. <laughs> and then lost. All right, see you guys. We'll see you not Sunday. We are off Sunday. So we'll be back on Tuesday with Tuesday. this with our friend Luke. And then the following Sunday, we're probably starting Storm King's Thunder. Probably. Adios. Mm. Probably.